What's up, everybody? Welcome back. Happy New Year. Yes, we yeah. did it. The vibes are immaculate, dude. Um, listen, a lot of big stories out yeah, there. Yeah, a lot okay? of stuff. Tory Lanez in jail. Yeah, I okay? think you were going to say innocent. I thought he was. <laughs> yeah. like, Tory Lanez no. in jail. Why would so. you guys think I was going to say that? I guess it started with in. You put mm -hmm. an emphasis on the in there. Tory, Tory, oh, I did. In jail. Okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, Tory Lanez in jail, as he should be. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, you yeah. can't shoot black women. <laughs> nope. No. Well, protect black women. You protect well, black and, women. Any woman, you, you can't can shoot. do whatever you want to white women. No, that's not yeah, true. Yeah, yeah. No, you, no. Andrew Tate yeah. just got to jail, maybe. <laughs> he doing an Alex Media. He doing a quick 30. <laughs> You know what I mean? In the European jail. That's, that's true, that's true. All that's I'm respect. saying is... Right, he's doing a hard time. If you, he's doing a hard time. If you shoot a black woman one time, yeah. Yeah. you doing jail time. Yeah. yeah. If you in prison and maybe... <laughs> A bunch of white women <laughs> around, the clock. around the clock and then monetize it yeah. and, keep right? all the money. and start your own university. Yeah. If you start your own university you teaching young men how <laughs> white women <laughs> allegedly well, and make money on the internet. Yeah. All right. <laughs> all right okay. Then you get 30 days. Then you get maybe 30 days where we can figure it out. Yeah. What are they going to figure it out? It's white women? Yeah. Then he gets off. <laughs> That's, yeah. I mean, I, if it was a black woman, you think he's getting off? Absolutely. You not. think if Andrew Tate had black women in there, he's gonna get off? <laughs> Yo, hold on. A second. You think for a goddamn second, Alex? Wait, Media, which getting yeah. off are you talking about? Yeah. 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 Neither. Do you think if Andrew Tate had black women in his sex castle? Mm -hmm. <laughs> in Romania. <laughs> that sounds like an ill yeah. resort. Right? Yeah. Is that a <laughs> tourist attraction? Loki, uh, because Andrew, you'll see him like in some of these things, and the way he talks is wild because it's about white women no notices, but he's like, I could just go to Slovakia and I could grab a couple women and bring them back here and then make some money. And it's like, bruh, <laughs> if you said this about any other color, yeah. <laughs> it'd be a little crazy, right? Yeah, you yeah, can't yeah. just go to Ghana and come back with three black women? No. Probably not. No. But, no. but that's also been done before. Might not say say so there's a historical precedent for that being fucked yeah. up. Yeah. Oh, you <laughs> think that white people have been slaves? I'm sure they have. <laughs> yeah. They don't get the same PR. You know what I mean? Why not? Probably because they also did the a lot of enslaving. the fucking media, that's what it is. <laughs> dude, the BM? Are you talking that's about the, the BM, dude? The BM, the black <laughs> media, bro. It is crazy. The black media. The coming up in a world, baby. Let's yeah, go. Dude. I'm telling so, you, man, the black man. media is a powerful thing. You can't even shoot black women. <laughs> no, it's crazy. Dude, you can't even be a Canadian guy shooting black women, dude. Isn't that fucking nuts, man? Do you think he's, do you think he's guilty? Who? Tory Lanez. Uh, I know. I, you know? Hey, Mark, How do you know? How do you welcome know? Welcome to now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> was, uh, He's before guilty. Trump. <laughs> okay. Oh, we're recording this today? Yeah, we're recording okay. this okay. today. Yeah, yeah. Right, He's guilty of shooting Megan Thee Stallion. Did you listen to the I apology? Right. The apology video? Whose apology? Tory Lanez. Damn. First of all, you was not right. Yes, I was. Let, uh, no, you yes, weren't. Yes, I was. <laughs> what did you say? What did you say? I had the closest to what happened in that car. you have gold teeth in? Yes. <laughs> that was good. That you was have good. the rest of your pants? <laughs> we going back to pay. Come on. You ain't so giving me much of work, dude. So 2022. You ain't giving me much of work. Yeah, I was so looking at that. Like, your yeah, shirt's not wrinkled. Your shirt's wrinkled. Like, I'm like, damn, it's he looks nah, good. Bro, come nah, on. He comes back all happy come looking on, for a vacation. Dude. It's like, come I don't got on. shit. I expected something a little better. You were in survival mode. Admit you were in survival mode. There was a fucking, what is it when the snow comes where you were? Avalanche. Avalanche coming to you, right? And then you had to stop it. I felt it, you know? So you went back to 2022, yeah. old shit. When did you get those in? <laughs> Over the break. What, how, and do they, how do they do it? <laughs> they take you a have mold. one. Say again? You have one. Oh, yeah. Paul Wall made us yeah, grills. Yeah, Paul Wall got you one. Huh? Oh, yeah, you still have it. Paul Wall made us grills. Shit. What are you talking about? they take about? the mold or you Well, maybe I'm trying to set them up for a joke. <laughs> You think hey, I'm hey, not hey, a joke? Hey, maybe that's what I'm trying to do. Maybe I'm trying to ask him questions I know the answer to so I can set him up for a joke mm. for the comedy podcast. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you just prevented me from getting dunked on, man. <laughs> no, no, go ahead. Okay, but go no, ahead. come on. Knock seriously. it out of the park. Listen, yeah, another yeah. now. Yeah. <laughs> you got it. Okay, okay. Where were we? We're talking about uh, Andrew Tate. Yeah, and how he was right about, about Tory Lanez. Tory, yeah. What did Andrew say about Tori? <laughs> you, what did you say? What did you what say? Did I, say about Tory? Um, I thought you thought he was gonna get off. 
I th listen, I get all my information from Grand Wizard <laughs> and <laughs> DJ Academics, and based on the information that they were putting out, it looked like Tori was coming. Yeah. Same. Is Instagram journalists like misled us. The Instagram, Instagram journalists. Did look, hey, look, this is the only was, time I've been furious at Grand Wizard, bro. <laughs> I've been promoting him every single week. Yeah. He got me out here thinking that this black woman that got shot's a liar. You thought she was a white woman for a long time. No, I didn't. <laughs> no, you didn't. I didn't do that. <laughs> I didn't. Mark, you go too I far I thought you now. didn't say that. Mark, no, you, you said that. Far. Mark, you, you said went that. a little too far with you that said, one, You bro. said, oh, I thought Meg Thee Stallion was a white woman. No. Mm -hmm. Mark. Mm -hmm. And that's why Tori's going to get off. I remember Mark, you wow. told her. I remember that. I remember that. You I called her a white that. stallion. Yeah. I think you were saying that white You called her a show pony. You called her Megan the show pony. You said that. Megan with an H. Wow. You said that. I love white women. I'm trying to free the white women in Tate's castle. Wow. Mm. Respect. I'm Mario. <laughs> -na 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 -na. I'm Mario. Bro. You look I'm like Mario. Yeah, you look like Mario. It's a me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mario. And I'm going to Romania and I'm going to free the white women from the castle. You were right about Meg the Stallion. Yeah. What, what were you right about? That. No, he actually told me it seems like the internet's saying she's going to be. He's going to be innocent, but I think he's going to get found guilty. He yeah. said that to me. And I said that I think they got into a uh, kerfuffle in the car. And then I think <laughs> Tori. Kerfuffle's a funny way to. <laughs> now he's convicted of shooting a woman. He yeah. called it a kerfuffle. No, 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 no. no. Just say altercation. Altercation. Who fought? Who fought? Did you think? Tori and Mick. And then Tori saw that he couldn't beat her, so he took out a gun. That's what they were kerfuffling about? Yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah. Why? Well, no, he's not saying what caused the kerfuffle. What he's saying is they got into a physical altercation. Yeah. yeah. And then Tori realized, I can't beat a stallion. Because there were pictures of their body. Like they all had bruises. Like they were in a heated fight. Mm. Yeah. Meg just sitting like this, <laughs> fucking piece it up to a punching just down. A, you know, Meg wasn't like that. It was more like. <laughs> <laughs> you know, did a Kelsey was Marcus. bruised up too. Dude. Kelsey was yeah, bruised yeah. up too yes. from Tori. Apparently, Tori was beating on her. Ah, I thought the girls were fighting. Yo, it turns out Tori's kind of a piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I know? I should have known when he DM'd me to come on the pod, and I was like, buddy, we're going to have to talk about what's going on, and then just looked at it, never responded. <laughs> I didn't know this. Like, right then, in that moment, I should have been like, hey, you might have shot that woman. <laughs> There's a good chance he might have shot Wait the minute, woman. Wait a minute, when did this happen? Yeah. I don't know, he DM'd me. I didn't I tell you about this? No, son. Yes, Let me go look. Shall's be having the blue checks in his DMs, Suck. boy. <laughs> no. Suck. Doesn't even body. I mean, body honestly, right? so, little sexy so body far, right? yeah. so far... Oh, I DM him. My bad. My come bad. on, bro. <laughs> you come on, bro. Yo, my bad, Tori. Not like you can see it anyway. Just ask me. I think they get Wi Fi. Yeah. Oh. Um. Yeah, but he was down. <laughs> yeah. But then, but then you said. See my DM. <laughs> I go. Yeah! <laughs> this is the man currently accused of shooting him. This is my Oh my god, dude. Yeah! <laughs> legend! <laughs> <laughs> you did not say legend, let me see. I, get, I, 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 I No, he I said go, legend! Legend! We getting a pod in or what? Question mark, question mark, question mark. He goes, we gotta do it, my bro. Where you at? I go, NYC. Uh, we, we would love to. I think you're My unreal. We. I go, I think you're unreal talented at music, which is true. That's true. I go, now, your people don't want us to talk about the stallion situation. I go, we're not a gotcha podcast. The goal is to have fun, but we have to at least acknowledge. <laughs> <laughs> acknowledge what? The horse that the you road? definitely <laughs> shot the fuck out of that black. <laughs> you did not say that. <laughs> Seen no response. <laughs> Reasonable. <laughs> Reasonable. I'm siding with Tori in this one. Nothing Yo. else, but this one, I'm, I'm with him. Uh, Can I tell you something? Tori, for bro. this one, you yes. For Tori, this one, bro. a million percent. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> no, I go, I go, go. I know, no. But we have to at least acknowledge that we're not discussing it or we seem, uh, we seem inauthentic. Mm. And uh, I don't want us to seem inauthentic, obviously. But then, obviously, seeing no response because he didn't want to talk about what really happened. So yeah. He knew we were going to get to the motherfucking truth. That brings me you right, to Andrew Tate. <laughs> Do you know why you thought I feel he was comfortable with your fucking teeth all the goddamn time? <laughs> Do you know why you thought he was innocent? Do you remember this? Why? You go, Tory Lanez is innocent. We're like, I never said that. you said it on the pod. I we... said he's in jail. <laughs> no, I said Tory Lanez is in eight jail. Eight months ago, when all this happened, we okay. go, why? And you go, he's at the nightclub the next day. I was like, what? And you were like, I look, seem, I he, seem kind he's of smiling sick. at the nightclub. There's no way he did it. That seemed like, kind of sick. He put out an album. He's like, no way he's going to put out new music. <laughs> How could you? No. He defied all the expectations. How could you? How could you not have that, like, just grinding away in your mind? 
<laughs> Al, why are you acting like you didn't think he was innocent? Sean <laughs> Cote no, killed not. his wife and then played golf. <laughs> yeah. This is what yeah. Mother, this is, hey, hey, this is honestly. This is what criminals do. See, dude. He got off. White woman. Oh, hey. <laughs> hey, 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 good point. Yo, look at that. that is, I'm, I'm right on it. You can shoot white women. You can shoot white women. Well, and you get didn't off. shoot, to be fair. Say again? He didn't shoot. Oh, they didn't shoot, Come to be on, fair. Bro. Yeah, yeah you're right. He was respectful. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> That's a lesser <laughs> crime. <laughs> well, we don't know if he did that. We don't know if yeah, he did it. No, That's he didn't. Not, he is, technically is innocent. Yeah, he did. Unlike Tory, he's innocent. Who's technically yeah. guilty. <laughs> who is yeah, technically no. guilty. Yes. yes. And Bill Cosby, who is technically innocent. Say what? He was guilty. No, he was guilty and then let off on a technicality. Yeah. So technically innocent. No, he's not innocent of it. technically not guilty. He's not guilty. not guilty. He's Case thrown away. Yeah. So he's back to innocent. <laughs> yeah. no, that's a good I don't point. know how the math works out, listen, but no, I no, think. No, 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 because you're innocent until no, you, proven guilty. If you, he hasn't if been you carry the one. Yeah. If you carry the one. Come on. Do they have that in Romania? <laughs> I don't think so. You know they, Cosby's know. victims mostly were white women. Exactly. You can, uh, the shame, wow. the, the absolute shame <laughs> in the world that we live in today is you can do almost anything to a white woman and you will get no justice whatsoever. Yeah. It is a travesty. We got to stand up. We got to protest. Mm. Protect white women? Yep. White women's lives matter. White women's lives matter. Yep. Yes. That's facts. That's you gotta facts. start it. Hundred percent. Hey, are you gonna, are you gonna march with us? You know what I say to that? All women's lives matter. What y'all gonna do? What y'all gonna do? That's true. No. But right now we're focusing on White. one yeah. woman's life or mm -hmm. one group of women's lives who seem to be more affected than the other mm. women's yeah. lives. Mm -hmm. Yes, what you're saying is true, but we just want to yeah. put some focus on the ones you're that look like. You're just saying it as a reaction. I, I personally just don't see color and I want to focus on all women. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I feel I like you're doing it to undermine what we're trying to do no, over here. No, I don't think yeah. I am. No, I don't think I am. This side Can is, you also at hey. least acknowledge? Can you at least acknowledge what's happening to white women? I acknowledge what's happening to all women. <laughs> Exactly. Do you though? Know? Hey, hey, I, guys, I get it. I get why you do this. Yeah. It's fun. It's the fun position to take. All women's lives matter. You know what? You're a Nazi. <laughs> you know nice. Yeah, yeah. I'm, you're a Nazi. Yeah. You know you're what? You're a fucking you're, Nazi. You're a no, Nazi. No, yeah, I, you are, hey. you mud fucking Nazi. <laughs> <laughs> and I gotta stay. I gotta stay. Yeah. <laughs> you're a Nazi, bro. That's Nazi shit that you were just you doing right what? there. We're trying to save white women. Look at what's happening to white women in the news. You know, They're I in believe, a fucking castle. I believe in your cause. I believe in your cause. <laughs> what I'm are you gonna do about I'm it? I'm gonna donate money so you can buy some mansions. Wow. What are we gonna do with those mansions? Stuff more white women in there where they can get fucking sex on camera? Let's go. <laughs> it's not like your style. Let's it's go. Not, dude, what does Allah say about that? Mm. What does Allah say about making money on uh, sex and casinos? Because yeah, I, I don't think Allah's into gambling. I, I don't think, think you're supposed a... to share the money equally, right? Because if you have multiple wives, you just gotta give them the same amount of money. That's where Tate fucked up, is he apparently kept all the money. But is Allah cool Allegedly. with, with uh, making money off of sex work? I don't think so. I feel like if there's one God, they would be cool with it. I mean, <laughs> you know it's the I mean? oldest profession, so he kind of like started it, no? Well, I don't, I don't think know. he started it, but no, he's he been there. He seen it. He like, seen it. Like, watch watch yourself. Watch yourself, Al. <laughs> watch yourself, Al. <laughs> you just said some wild shit. That's <laughs> <laughs> staying in. Watch yourself, Al. No, 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 you just said some no, no, wild no, no, shit. That's no, 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 staying in. Son. Watch hey, yourself, Al. Hey, 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 remember when we were going to go live? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We should have. We should have. Because everybody would have been a lot better if we were alive. And now everybody just shooting from the hip. Okay. That wasn't one? Shooting from the hip? What'd I do? Cause you know Tori's hip height. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, that was yeah. actually a good joke. That was a good, <laughs> good joke, bro. Good joke. Chosen one. Anyway, <laughs> the point I'm trying to make is we're talking about Andrew Tate. Listen, there are people that come to this podcast for information. Yeah, Can we just for get facts the facts and right? information? Andrew Tate has a castle. Yes. Oh, okay. Does he not? Yes. <laughs> Maybe I don't know. He's a castle. castle. Compound at least. Yeah. He is a compound. It's a home. Yeah. He has a. Oh, he it's lives, he lives multiple somewhere. buildings. What makes it a castle, though? Say again. What makes it something it's a in castle? Romania. It's Romania. Yeah, that's all I was gonna say. Any house in Romania? Yeah. 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 yeah Dracula's house, castle. All right. Castle. Okay, I think. All right. What makes it? What makes a castle to you? I don't yeah. know. Like spires made out of uh, stones. And oh shit. yeah. How gay is that, dude? Yeah. I believe a drawbridge. What are you reading? Architectural Digest. <laughs> yeah. Do you do all these things when you make a sandcastle on the beach? You put a little drawbridge. You put a moat at least. It's not a sandcastle if there's no moat. There's got to be spiky You don't think parts. it's a castle if it's not a moat? He probably, got a, he probably got a moat. You think he has he a moat? Got, come on. There's and there's got to be defense. There's got to be a defense system, like turrets or some type of place you can shoot arrows or he's drop top, tar. He's top G, bro. 
Son, what's the roof? He has his, he's his own I don't know if he has those things. I'm saying if it's a home, if it's just a regular domicile, I don't know if it's a castle. Can we just at first acknowledge uh, that we're boring the fuck out of the audience right now? I just Sorry. think if we're going to talk I about apologize. castles, we should be specific. Okay? We, we, can't just we call, walked up. We, can't just, <laughs> we walked up. Dove just left. We can't just call any old thing a castle. We walked okay? out of the fucking room. Okay. We can't just call things castles. Okay, okay. So we won't call it a castle. Andrew Tate. Is a legend. I mean, no, no wait. No. <laughs> Andrew Tate. So Andrew Tate is in prison for 30 days. Yes. On what? Not sex trafficking. That's what everyone thought at first. They thought it was sex trafficking. Organized crime allegations, correct? Connection to what? The mafia? Yeah. Is that it? Organized crime. So yeah, I guess you would, they would believe mafia. Okay. But there's a few allegations. They've been investigating since his last arrest in April. Mm -hmm. Allegedly, he... One of his women that was making like 55000 a month on the cams that he was forcing to work mm -hmm. said she didn't make a dollar off of it. So that's sex slavery, I assume. Well, she wasn't a top earner. 50, measly 55. 55000 like, a month, bro? Come on. That's like 700 k a year. Come on, step it up. <laughs> okay. Step it up. Okay. <laughs> that's top B, I think. What else? <laughs> what else? Uh, so also there was four people arrested. Andrew Tate, Tristan Tate, and then two other Romanian women, apparently. Mm. And they said one of the suspects, they didn't say who, but uh, I think <clears throat> raped a woman twice using violence and then psychological uh, abuse or something like that. Mm. I don't necessarily, that These violence, are the allegations. violence seems like the more pressing, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, and are they yeah. saying one of the two people they've detained is accused of doing that? One so of the four people they've detained, detained. So it could be the women, which I doubt. Or, or Andrew or yeah. Tristan. Yeah. Right. These and are the allegations. These are the allegations. Okay. Okay. This is big. Mm. Yeah. This is big. I thought big. Greta Thunberg put him in jail. That's what everybody thought because the that's timing was that, dubious. That's yeah. what I believed. Because he was talking that shit to Greta and then they said that they used the pizza boxes yeah. in his retaliation video yeah. to prove that he was in town and then they arrested him. Apparently that's bullshit. Yeah. Apparently that's not true. Okay. Yeah, which is one of those things that when you hear about it at first, you're like, whoa, that's so crazy. That and then after you funny. think about it, it would have been like, so funny. Yeah, there's no way they're like watching his streams, like, we got him. Yeah. Like they just couldn't see his passport, like when he got in the country and they're like, yeah, he's here. Or just drive up to the castle and see if he's there. <laughs> yeah. Right? You yeah. just yeah. knock on the door and be like, hey, is Andrew here? Yeah, there's gotta be other ways for the government to know if you're in the country other than like you yeah. ordering like pepperoni pizzas. Hundred percent. Okay. Um so what do the we think? The Thunberg thing was funny as fuck though. What the I we just never seen Andrew Tate take an L. Yeah. And then to take it from Greta Thunberg yeah, is so good look. funny. Not dude. a good look. Good. Well, I don't even know why he picked that fight. Isn't that like a, a, a pretty bad chess move? His dad would be disappointed. But I yeah. feel like people take shots at her all the time. But he like went specifically at her about global warming. And then it's like, dude, you're picking a fight with a teenage girl. Hmm. If yeah. you win, what do you get? You dunk on her, is everybody going to celebrate? Or if she dunks on you, is the whole world going to be like, this is amazing. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It was a stupid move. And I really think that was... The first time we saw him fall, and then that made the jail thing more like, yeah, dude, it's, he's, it's ready. It's, I feel like somehow we're more like okay with it because yeah. mm. we saw him take that blow. Yeah. I mean, I, yeah, I, I love trying to dunk on Greta Thunberg. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I don't know what sure you're talking about at all. <laughs> <laughs> the whole point of this podcast is almost <laughs> dedicated to dunking on Greta Thunberg. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. I even no, think a few no, minutes yeah. to the Netflix Where did, where did you go like, on vacation? Where did you go? <laughs> Son, you tweeted at her or you tweeted at her, you went at a bunch of people and then Thunberg was a part of it and you made fun of a thousand I people. Made a, I made a tweet to Greta like the day before he did. <laughs> yeah, what was I'm the pretty tweet? sure, like a video. I posted really? some kind of story or something Maybe she like doesn't that. think you have small dick energy. Maybe yeah, she thinks possible. you have big dick energy. That's also possible. Mm, you know? It is what it is. I did, I don't know, I did something. I forget, maybe it was a tweet, maybe it was something. <laughs> oh yeah, I saw stash. somebody like save the fucking, I saw somebody save, oh no, the guy planted the most trees ever. It was like some Canadian kid planted 23,000 yeah. trees in a day Fuck or something that kid. like that. Oh yeah, you did. Yeah, uh, yeah we got actually a lot of so, tweets about Greta. Oh yeah. <laughs> An insane amount, now that I'm looking at it. Yeah. Anyway. Um, <laughs> gonna that's what I'm saying. Listen, I love it. I love it. She didn't give you the energy, though. Why do you think yeah. that is? She don't want the smoke. She knows what time it is, bro. Mm. She doesn't want the smoke. That's a greenhouse gas. That, you know what I mean? That's true. That's, that's, that's true. Right? That's true. Right there. That's true. I see that. Um, yeah, I don't know. With the Andrew Tate thing. You know, it's interesting. I was watching the, this, this talk that he did with, oh, fuck, what is this girl's name? She's a redhead. Pearl. Pearl? Yeah. So... Yeah. It was Pearl and it was Brittany Renner. There was another girl and uh, and Andrew Tate. I saw a couple clips from this. Yeah. And, uh, and the, here's the interesting thing about Tate. Tate has 
Really fascinating observations about gender dynamics. I know this is gonna sound crazy if you're someone who's never ingested his content besides like the most salacious shit that comes out on TikTok. I was one of those same people. And I'd always hear people copping pleas for him going, no, he makes some really good points. And, and I'd go, it seems like he's just saying the wildest shit possible yes. that's also funny. Like, what are you talking about? He also makes good points, mm -hmm. right? And then I saw him in discussion with these women and now I understand what they're saying. He has really interesting observations about gender dynamics. And the, the problem is, and I don't know if it's a problem, I'm projecting what I would want if I was in his situation. Maybe he wants this exact thing. Maybe he wants to be talked about nonstop and he wants the excitement and the chaos that goes along with being one of these like incredibly uh, politicized figures. <laughs> but the problem is the way that he delivers his information and maybe this is because of the algorithm, it is indigestible to women and it is candy to men. <laughs> the people that actually could benefit from a lot of things that he says women. are women, but they'll never be able to touch it because the way it's communicated is for men. Yeah. And I know this sounds crazy if, you've, if you haven't watched long form conversations with what he's Can talking about. Can you give an about. example? He's just talking about like the the importance of status. That there was a really good one. Status, who, status, status, yeah. status, yeah. status. Yeah. But no, he was talking about a really interesting thing about like with Brittany Renner. Brittany Renner has been like very public about all the guys that she's been with, yeah. right? And he's gonna. He was talking about why this would be very difficult with for a man, because even because when he's with you, he is competing with all the people that he's that you've slept with, mm -hmm. and. The reality of she's fucked all these NBA players, these like super rich guys, these rappers and all these things. The guy that she settles with might not be as rich as the NBA players, as uh, famous as the, as the rappers, as talented as any of them. So he might always feel insecure. Yeah. And if it's your job to make your man feel like the king of the household, and he can't because he's constantly competing with your past, he's always gonna feel that insecurity and then treat you based on that insecurity. Mm -hmm. And it's a really interesting argument for the idea of having either a low body count or just being quiet about your body count. It's one thing to fuck a lot of rappers and have a pass and do all these things, but you displaying it on the internet, writing a book about it, telling everybody, puts you in a position where you might be alone because there's not gonna be a guy that's gonna wanna put up with that baggage. <coughs> just just, just to, to, to round out the point. Regardless if you agree with it or disagree with it, that information is probably valuable to a lot of women growing up today that are like um, running with the whole thought is a personality identity yeah, and sharing all their exploits online. And then they reach 30 and they're like, why am I alone and single and nobody wants to put up with me? I, I, I think that in, this is just one of the arguments yeah, yeah, yeah. he made, and he didn't make it in a way that was like really insulting or yeah. degrading to women. It was just like a really interesting observation about gender dynamics. Yes. And, and I'm sitting there and I'm going, <laughs> wow, like the, the people that would benefit the most from this are not men because we know it. We feel these things innately. Maybe he can package them in a way yeah. that we go, oh, that's how I feel, but we feel these things already. Yeah. The people that would benefit from this are the women that don't understand why men feel certain ways about certain situations, why we don't wanna know necessarily about your past, why I don't wanna know a single thing because I don't wanna start competing in my head with these people that exist for you already. Mm -hmm. They'll never be able to digest that because of how polarized he is. And he chose to be that polarized. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <clears throat> the genius of that, I think, and this is where he can be so smart, is rooting it in a vulnerability, which is true. It's based on our insecurity. And mm -hmm. when you present it that way, it's so much more palatable and he can do that whenever he wants to, and we've always said this. The thing that separates him from everyone else in that world is he can package his points smarter than everybody else. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's just the best at packaging it. Yep. And mm -hmm. I personally think he doesn't mind all the chaos in the same way that he has the same superpower that Trump has, that I guess we say Jay Paul has, where it's like, look, I don't mind if you hate me. Mm -hmm. I understand as long as you are talking about me, I'm going to get where I want to go. Mm -hmm. The tricky thing is, is once he gets there, is he going to want to pivot to more nuanced points, which he's clearly capable of making, mm. or or like packaging them in this really like nice, vulnerable, like, holy shit, we could all learn something from this guy kind of way, or is he gonna be like, well, I gotta do what's made me get this famous and but, stick with that. He's good at packaging it for men, though. Yeah. That's like, he's not good at packaging it for yes, all people. Yes. And I'm, I kind of, I, I, I don't wanna interrupt you, go, make your point, make your but point. I guess I just look at all media, or a lot of media like that, where like, you know, if you listen to like a right-wing commentator, there's a, probably some truth 
to what they're saying in course, specific instances. But they're that, packaging it for their... But they're packaging it to get views and make money rather than to actually impact change. Like, if you're trying to hit the people that need to hear it the most, you try to wrap it in a conversation that's palatable to those people. Like, yeah. I thought that dude, uh, Emmanuel Acho... Yeah. It's like when he was doing like those uncomfortable conversations like during COVID, during like all the BLM stuff, he was making it to be like, okay, this is going to be approachable for like white people to listen to, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And he wasn't trying to like make, make it vitriolic just to like appease a black base to be like, okay, let's make money. It seemed like he actually wanted to It's what we did it. with Turn Your Phones. We yeah. like specifically did them in a way where it wouldn't alienate either side of the people that felt a way about this issue, but also spoke to the things that they were both feeling. It's really hard to do. Yeah, it's much harder. It's way easier to just fall into the comfort of the people who already support you. Yeah. The unfortunate part of that is that you lose out on the people who actually need information. It's like what I was talking to Jordan Peterson about, and I was like, my only issue, Jordan, with you going with the Daily Wire is that the people that that actually will benefit from your information are the people who would never consume something on the Daily Wire, mm -hmm. which are the people who might lean way more left. They could probably benefit from the things you're saying and the way that you articulate things and the way you present your arguments. They're really sound, but just having that label is gonna make them go, oh, Ben Shapiro, uh, right wing, super conservative, I don't want anything to do with yeah. it. Yeah. So I agree with you in terms of my first, um, like, understanding of Tate was just like the clips that went well, he was saying salacious shit and I was like oh this guy's a piece of shit he's yeah. like and like I was like this is actually bad for relationships and like men and women yeah. and then hearing that podcast I was like okay some of your ideas I, I get it and he is right about I wouldn't say a lot but like he is right and so but then he like packages it in this surface level way of thinking that is like, if a guy hears it's like, yeah, yeah. And then for a woman, just like, oh fuck, I just have to just deal with it. And like the type of things he'll say is like, you know, if you're a top G, I should be able to just sleep with women. And like, you just have to take that. You have to, and it's like in help package yeah. these like I thought things. the conclusions of it were misguided. Yeah. But the information like, might've been somewhat I, true. He's also speaking from an emotional place. So, we all know how we want the world to be, yeah. but we're also limited by like primal emotions. Yeah, of course. Right? And he's speaking to how a behavior that a woman exhibits could make a man, her partner, feel. And then how he feels is gonna indicate how he behaves in that relationship. Mm. And that's important shit, mm -hmm. because if you look at every one of these female magazines, why he acts like this when? Yeah. Why he pretends he's tired when? Why he doesn't want to sleep? It's a bunch of women telling women how men act and why they act. And now you have a guy doing it, but he's doing it in a way where no women will ever want to listen, when they could really benefit. Well, it, oh, that I, point, let me ask you this, that point, actual question. How would women receive that poorly? Would it just be, I don't have to deal with your insecurity or what? Because to I me, that he articulated, point is- I thought you articulated the points really well for women on that podcast specifically because he was talking to all women. And that's yeah. what happens. Yeah. When you reach Great. across the yeah. aisle, yeah. you're forced to sort of like compromise on some of the crazy stuff to make it approachable. Yeah. But when you're just in your own little echo chamber, you don't have to do that. When you have four dudes that are gonna go- Just cheer you on. Yeah, yeah you got you that got shit. You go crazier and like you just get, and your emotions take over. And when the environment is created so that you're supposed to dunk on these girls. Like for example, Tate on, on Fresh and Fit or whatever. The environment is, hey, dunk on these girls who aren't yeah. ready or equipped for these arguments. Mm -hmm. When he's talking to those four girls who all have thought about their arguments, have thought about their positions, and have thought about why they feel that way, now he has to come more nuanced. He's gonna get pushback. Yeah. It's not gonna be some thought who's thought about her eyelashes all day. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna be a girl who's sitting there going, my life is tough because of this and I need to know why. Yeah. And you saw Britney kind of like open up and like yeah. almost like ask for advice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, was, I saw that clip actually, and then yeah. I saw the Clementine clip, which was funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he gives her half the one. But that clip, what was also interesting is the girl who had Tate on found him funny. And I think that was also disarming. Like you could tell she had, she's like, let's have our fun. You're a fun guy, you're a funny guy. And it, I think it also created an environment where it's like, hey, we can all Who's talk that? here. The Pearl? Pearl, Pearl but yeah. she's a big she, fan. Yeah, she's, she's a super fan of her. Yeah. Super I think, but she's you, like red pill girl. Oh, she's so red she's, pill girl. Yeah, okay, like she's, uh, I think people would call her like the Tate, but a girl. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. which is like a very interesting position to be in. That's almost like Candace Owens. Yeah. You know, it's a weird thing to compare to, but in the same way where like you yield power because a, at least a guy can watch and be like, see, a woman gets it. Because yeah, yeah, you speak to the other side. Exactly, where white people can look at Candace and be like, see, black people do okay. be annoying. I <laughs> <laughs> so I had put up just like a little poll on my story. Um, 
just a, a little excerpt from the podcast and I asked people like, how do you feel about this? And I just wanted to get their responses. It's so crazy how different based on gender people like Which, what was the excerpt? Um, it was about like uh, men just wanting a woman to like, I think either be agreeable or mm-hmm. oh, like less pushback that. and less battling or whatever the case is. And it's like, I would say half the women who responded didn't even take it in. They're just like, take a piece of shit. Fuck Yeah, this. they're not going to listen. Yeah. The other half is like, I kind of see what he's saying, but no guy, every guy would get bored with that woman and would eventually it's, leave him or cheat on him. It's not. And then all oh, the sorry. guys are like, yeah. He's speaking facts. <laughs> and I'm like, whoa. Here's the thing about the agreeability thing. Yeah. It's, first of all, it's great. Like, I've had, <laughs> I've had, I've had, no, no. my wife got pissed at me once. I, I, I was walking on the way home and I was like, man, I hope we agree tonight. Like, I was uh, dreaming about agreeing, right? Like, now, now here's the problem. <laughs> I was like, Ooh. Like, I wasn't going, I hope we fuck. I was, uh, I was going, I hope dinner's great. I was like, I hope we agree. Like, I just want to walk in the house and be like, it was cold today. And I just need her to be like, yes, yes it was it cold. Was. And I'm like, well, for this time of year, yeah. So, so, so I understand the idea it's of agreeability. I, I understand. The idea. Yeah, can we just get like a, a normal temperature? Yeah, like, like, just seventy-two is good. Yes. Just put seventy-two, and I promise I won't say anything else about it. Okay. So, watch. Here's the thing. Ready? With agreeability, the problem with agreeability and then never ever expressing your opinion, at least for someone like me is that I will lose faith that that's how you actually yeah. feel, and I will feel more insecure that you're just bending to what I want and not being who you really are. Mm-hmm. So now I can't trust your reactions, and I can't trust your emotions. If I can't trust your emotions or reactions, I feel more insecure. And I kind of feel like I can't trust you, period. And like, so when it are creates, you just to, to give a bit more nuance, he actually said he doesn't want to push over. Okay. Like, he wants somebody to... Um, have their own viewpoint, but on little things like the temperature or what we're nah, gonna. Nah, he eat right, like, bro. That motherfucker bro. right, dog. Hey, bro. <laughs> hey, how much that university? Because it's like, <laughs> because like men do want to feel like, hey, we're leading. Like, trust us that we're leading us in the right direction. And it's like, if uh, if women just give you pushback every step of the way, it's like, oh, you don't trust me. Yeah. And that's how we feel. Women are just like, no, I'm just voicing how I feel or I'm voicing my opinion or whatever the case is. And it's like, that's just, I just saw with the responses, the clear disconnect of that topic. And then sometimes women feel like if they don't give some pushback or some reaction, they don't have a voice at all. Mm. And when you feel like you don't have a voice at all, sometimes you amplify your voice about everything to make sure that you have a voice to you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right? So now we're in this, situation where it's really just ego. A man's ego going, well, I want to feel like I'm the man of the house, and a woman's ego, well, I don't want to feel like I'm nothing in the house. No, I feel like a typical 50s woman with no opinion and no, they, yeah, exactly. no freedom. And this is where I think you get the pushback uh, towards feminism, at least from like the red fill space, which is like, they're going to go, feminism has made you think that you have to have an opinion about everything and give shit, and if not, you're getting walked over in your house. And it's like, yeah, the most extreme version of that, but... Yeah. The opposite is you're just sitting there like a little dove, yeah. quietly, not saying a single thing, and now your man is feeling insecure. Are you even happy? Yeah. Do you like, like how often, you wanna go get something to eat? Sure. What do you want? <laughs> I don't care. We don't want that shit. What do you want? I don't know. Yeah. That's not what you want at all. That's the worst. Yeah. yeah. I like it when my girl is sure about the things that she, it, it, it makes me feel confident when my girl is sure about the things that she likes. Yeah. Because I know when she's happy about something, it's real. Yeah. I need to be able to trust your emotions. Mm-hmm. I need that. Yeah. So that's the 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 other the problem with the other extreme, which is like the red pill extreme, is you could create a person where you can't trust anything that they say. Mm. And if you can't trust anything they say, that's no foundation for a relationship. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I think it's also on the man to open up the conversation. Like if you are quote unquote leading in your relationship, yeah. and I, I don't think every relationship needs to follow the same exact thing necessarily, mm-hmm. but if you are in a relationship where the guy's leading and the girl's sort of like in a, I guess, I don't know, like she's following your leadership, mm-hmm. you need to open up that space and be like, hey, how do you actually feel about this and create an environment where she's able to talk freely? Yeah. yeah. Like if you've created it where you don't uh, like listen to her opinion or if she voices something and you just like shut it down, that's on you for creating a hostile environment for her to share what she thinks. And if she raises her opinion and you can't tell her why, this is why I think long long term this is the best move for us that's on you 
Mm. You're giving, if you can't communicate what you think your vision is and why it's that way and why you're going to get there with this route, you probably don't deserve to have it. But yeah. then he was saying uh, he doesn't want to always have to Explain, explain every yeah, single yeah, all the time. Thing. No, no, like every no. single time. No, I'm signing up for Hustlers University. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing it. Don't think I'm not. So we read Pillow. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm orange at least. <laughs> but it is the power of, of communication. Yeah. It's like if his career was built on only going on female podcasts, explaining these principles to them. There's a different version of Andrew Tate. And I don't know if it touches as many guys. That's yeah. I don't know if it yeah. touches as many guys. I don't know if it's as big of a version. And it might not be. Yeah. And it might not make the views. It might not do. It's like even with the episode that that Pearl put out, I, th I think the name of the episode is Tate destroys feminists exclamation point. Yeah. It's just like, and I get it. You're tapping into the algorithm. We all tap into the algorithm. Mm -hmm. The problem with that is you're isolating the people that actually would benefit from the message through that algorithmic cocoon mm -hmm. that's created. It's just every dude that just wants to see feminist owns oh, clicking that instead of a few women that are like. Oh wait a minute! Is that why my boyfriend or my husband reacts with such insecurity when I do that? Yeah. Oh fuck! And just because they do doesn't make it right. But at least you know why they have that impulse. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's really important. It's not necessarily you. It should baked in our DNA from fucking millions of years of evolution. Yeah. I guess it's also the intention of the message. Like he might be packaging it incidentally the way that he is because. He's just going based off how he feels. Mm -hmm. But if the intention of it is like empathy, like with this Brittany Renner thing, I haven't seen the clip, but if the feeling is like, oh, let me actually help you, mm -hmm. the f I think the message is interpreted completely differently first than if the says, intention is, let me dunk you. First thing he says, I'm pretty sure, is you're right, there is a double standard. Like he doesn't- He and says it's unfair, like, it's yeah, unfair. He says it's unfair, which is even more like, but he doesn't say it like, fuck you, yes, unfair. He's like, no, you're right, you're right to feel this. It is unfair, here's why we think it's unfair. Yeah. And it's like, oh, that, but again, he's so funny and so good at, creating gravity and the best way to do that is by being funny and being salacious yeah. I think the reason he rose like a comet is I gotta be salacious and I can back it up with comedy and packaging so the question I have is if you're making so much money from Hustlers University if you're which he is and if you're famous and people love you and people are into what you're doing you're getting a deal I imagine from Rumble you're making tons of money over there why even dabble in the shit that could get you arrested like you are now. Why even still continue to do that? I think that, I think it is old shit. Like, so I this is stemming kinda, from like years ago? Yeah. I thought this is stemming from a few months ago. No, I think he, like once Hustlers University blew up, like he stopped all the sex. Yeah, all that's the sex right. I don't know if that's the case, but yeah. that's why. I, I think the allegation, I mean, the allegation, the first one, April 22nd, I think, or whatever, April 2022, they got him arrested. A girl flew out from America, and then I think her parents called the U.S. Embassy like, She's for whatever reason they reported him, but that's when it started. And I don't know. I think allegations are from still around that time. I think because I think they've been investigating him for nine months. I could be wrong on this, yeah. but he just talks about like the sex hotline. It, like that was something he used to do. Yeah, it doesn't seem like he still does. Okay, well, it seems like problem. it's mostly money stuff. Like I'm assuming he's getting paid all through the internet, yeah. making all his money through Hustlers University, getting paid in the United States technically. Blah blah blah. And like shuffled some numbers around, and then now the Romanian IRS is going for him. Yeah, this is what I'm assuming. I mean, that's who always gets you. Yeah. Like, I mean, isn't that uh, what's his face, Al Capone? Al Capone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you get everybody who do, does the uh, the you know. Yeah, you get all the mafia dudes with the money shit mm -hmm. because they're too insulated. You're not going to get them with the murders. You're not going to get them yeah. with the maybe the racketeering a little bit. I guess Rico is the charge that they use now yeah. to do it. I don't know if they even have Rico in Romania. What do you think of the way that Tate's framing all of these things that are happening? So like yeah. I saw him saying a bunch where he's like, okay, look, they canceled me once and I know that I'm that's bad and I'm intimidated by that because you get three lives. They cancel you and then they put you in jail and then they try to kill you. And I've already lost one of my lives. And he said this like a few and months he goes, ago. And I just want to let you know, I will not kill myself. I am not going to yeah, kill yeah. myself. I mean, to me, I think it's brilliant marketing, yeah. right? Yeah. Which is, you already know that there's an investigation going on in you. Mm -hmm. Obviously, if he's as big as he is, if he's the top G in Romania, he has people in the probably the police department or their version of the FBI or whatever the fuck it is, mm -hmm. who are like, yo, there's an ongoing investigation about you. You know that you're eventually gonna go back yeah. in jail. So of course go on all these platforms and then say, the Matrix is coming for me. Is it the Matrix or is it the motherfucking police that have said, hey, we're building this case yeah. against you? You know <laughs> what else right. to that point? I was, when I was it's looking- It's like Tory going, listen, the Matrix is after me. I mean, I know I <laughs> shot this woman in the foot. <laughs> but the Matrix is yeah. conspiring to put me in prison. Yeah. Uh, I was looking for that Greta Thunberg tweet to send you guys, and I was looking at uh, his Twitter. And I don't know if he's always tweeted like this, but it seemed like it was a lot of, like, 
super red pill shit like um, if you wore a mask, I stopped being your friends. If you got the vax, we stopped being friends. Yeah. You're a follower. And it was like super speaking to that group of people yeah. that if you know you might get arrested, they're still going to ride with you. And you can say it's a conspiracy and it's the Matrix. And this group of people is completely going to believe you. Mm -hmm. It seemed like it was shifting that way because he might have known some smoke was coming. Mm -hmm. And maybe that's why he went at Greta actually in the long term. He's like, look, let me go at this global warming. Let me go at the super left. I mean, the super left to get the super right to like me. So if when I get arrested, I can say it's all conspiracy and they're going to ride with me. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's classic storytelling. You yeah, know, it's the classic hero's journey. Yeah, like an individual, you know, sacrifices himself to you know protect a group from a uh, what is it a like a tyrannical leader that's abusing their power mm -hmm. selfishly, and uh, yeah, you could just find it over and over in every single story, yeah. at least Western stories. Does he does he stay in prison? You think? Is I he think get, he gets convicted, or like with money charges, they're just going to be like tax evasion, pay the fine. I imagine with a guy who makes money internationally, it is incredibly easy to pin tax evasion. Yeah. Especially if you're making money through crypto shit. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think he was making some money through crypto. Somebody should. You're making money through. Uh, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. The, uh, I saw a wild thing on crypto. I got it sent to you. Um, yeah. I mean, yeah. The price that it's in. No, it's just crypto. We, it's what we always knew. It's just a Ponzi scheme. It's technology for a Ponzi scheme. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's like, what we always knew. No, no, but we always, we knew, always it. knew it, bro. Always, Tory was guilty. When I crypto was buying spark. it in that moment, I knew it. What was it. We buy into Ponzi schemes all the time. <laughs> we do it all we the time because it. we're greedy. And we no, just want to make sure we go, we get there before the rug's pulled out. But like, the thing about the, the, the crypto I agree with thing that. is yeah, that, yeah, no, that's a fact. No, yeah. everybody wants in on the Ponzi scheme. You just want, don't want to be left with the bill. Right. But everybody wants it. Everybody wanted in with Madoff. You don't think these people knew? They're not dumb. Yeah, some must have. Like, they all knew. I don't think they all knew. Buddy, right. buddy. The ones they that all have access to the same tools, right, for their trades. Every one of these hedge funds have access to the same tools and find the way. There's no way that Bernie Madoff and three other people like have found some crazy new way to make 15% every single year. They know there's some wild shit going on. They don't know it's necessarily a Ponzi scheme like that, but they know there's some corrupt shit going on. They're like, listen, oh, I don't yeah. gotta deal they with it. You handle the biz, pay me my fucking money. That's what it was. They might've known some shit going on, but exactly. I don't think they thought it was an actual Ponzi nobody scheme was, and their money's out there. Enough, <laughs> like, it, it, it wasn't that extreme, <laughs> yeah. but nobody was surprised something illegal happened. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? They were just surprised they lost all their money. Yeah. But they knew that something illegal was happening, right? So I the same, same thing with crypto. It's just like, this is the thing that I was. I watched this video and they, they said this brilliantly. It's like, you know how they're like, crypto, it's gonna replace the internet. It's a new thing. It's like, crypto's been around for what, 13 years? Yeah, probably. Okay, when the internet was around for 13 years, what could you do with it? You could do emails, you could look up the fucking weather, mm -hmm. you could transfer information like you've never had before. There were websites with actual, there was actual things built on the internet that were utilized by us to improve our lives. Crypto's been around for 13 years. Nothing's happened. <laughs> Not a single thing has happened besides other ways to create Ponzi schemes. So it goes Bitcoin, right? Then it goes, okay, anybody can make a coin after Ethereum comes out and you use Ethereum's blockchain to create your coins. So now everybody just creates a coin, some more Ponzi schemes, and then they go, okay, fine, they're realizing it's a Ponzi scheme. NFTs, they pivot to NFTs. I uh, knew that uh, Ponzi scheme NFTs are done. Web3. Uh, let's sell land that doesn't exist. Ponzi scheme. Is a, the whole, it's just new Ponzi schemes over and They're over They're going to come again. for you for this, bro. Dude, the Matrix yeah, is going to come for you. People inside are dying bro. right now. So, the Matrix is going to come true. for it's, you, bro. And I knew it from the beginning. I was like, it's just Ponzi schemes. <laughs> but I, I did, and I was, and I lost the most. Just let me know. I only, the most. I only bought at the high. Okay, you at least yeah. had a moment where you made money and you felt yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Never <laughs> one time in my whole existence with crypto have I made a penny. You know why? I I'm bought at the high, it went down, I bought at that one, it went further, <laughs> I bought at that one, it went further. Hey guys, that's what you shouldn't do. I'll buy your Bitcoin yeah. if you want. Yeah. Say again? I'll buy your Bitcoin if you want. You buy it at my original price. I'll why the fuck would I ever do that? Pussy. <laughs> pussy. It's gonna go to 100K. It's gonna go to 100K. Pussy. So why don't you buy it on the regular Coinbase? Why would I sell to you now? I could sell to anybody. <laughs> Dumbass. Yeah, so sell it. Fucking idiot. I could I could go right now and just sell it. So sell you, it. You have to give me a reason to sell it. I'm the dumbass? Yes. I'm not the one who only bought it 60. But why did you say, I'll buy it from you? Like, I can't just sell it. <laughs> because, you know, we're making content. Anyway, so, anyway, so look, anytime, if you're willing to buy at my original prices, I'll sell it to you. But if not, you know. So, look, the point about the, the crypto thing is 
All it is is <laughs> one Ponzi scheme after another. And it's so funny. And it's good. Ponzi schemes have existed forever. Yeah. We're going to keep on making them. It is what it is. But you think they'd make like one piece of technology that like offered utility. Like even like the smart contracts, right? They're like, oh, it's gonna replace contracts. You don't even need lawyers anymore. It's like, no, you fucking do, asshole. You need a judge to look at the contract and look what both sides signed up for and see if one side was violated or the other side was violated. You still need a human to look at it. This contract that the block that's on the blockchain isn't gonna do anything to stop that. It's a Ponzi scheme. Now. <laughs> Well, it's not first attacking all, on you. No, I, I would say nobody ever, I don't think anybody ever said crypto would replace the internet. If it literally so, was the marketing for every single, this is this is more impactful <laughs> than the invention of the internet. This is the new internet. Web3. Well, more impactful than the invention of the internet, I don't agree with, but it's not replacing the internet. Well, Web3 is supposed to replace the internet. Web3, okay, fair. Which is? Yeah, okay. I guess that's, okay, fair. I see what you're saying now. But sure. I just thought Bitcoin could replace money, and I still think a universal currency could happen, especially if we go metaverse and live online and all that shit, but which I don't think you think is going to happen. But not decentralized. Also, the wealth of crypto is more centralized than any money that exists on the planet right now. The amount of people, like you can actually look at the amount of people that are holding Bitcoin. Mm -hmm. There's nothing decentralized about it. There's like 10 fucking people. The mining is not decentralized. Half of it happens in China. Half it happens in El Salvador. It's like the biggest fucking lie has been told to us. And because we were making a little money, we're like, eh, I'm not going to look at any of that shit. But we all knew yeah, it. You could very well be right. I'm pushing back based on what I'm hearing, but I'm not going to act like I know the most. I assume they mean and there's no, what is it, IMF or whatever the, mm -hmm. what's the international, international bank? Monetary That's what they're saying when they say decentralized. There's not people who can just come fuck with the value and inflate it and deflate it. However, they can't make more whenever they want to. Well, they can, depending on the coin. With Bitcoin, well, you can't. Bitcoin. But, but with the other ones. Yeah, with the other ones, absolutely. Yeah. We, uh, yeah, 100%. We bought into all that. I'm not saying Bitcoin is the best or FTX whatever. FTX can just make it disappear. Yeah, that's true. It, no, that they did. You know what I mean? It's that just like they there's did. no rules to this shit. That they did. <laughs> I'm just saying, it's like fucking... I had what to, was this YouTube video, bro? I gotta send it to you. Chelsea with a Wi-Fi no, no, connection no, no. is yeah, crazy. Right? I, as soon as this guy gets on YouTube, it's a, if you get a good documentary in Chelsea's hand, Sorry, it's, oh, you, are, you are famous. <laughs> Tomorrow, you're gonna be famous. <laughs> if Chelsea watches James, your documentary. James Janney, thank you for... Yo, that's my boy. He's fire. Yeah, yeah. Uh, see now? See yeah, now? I love that shit. No, that shit is fire. James Janney, brilliant. James Janney, he's got amazing ones. No, no. He's, so he's like, it's a great, it's like, a, it's an hour. <laughs> See? That's so funny. See I actually know it. That's hilarious. So you watched an hour? That's my tape. <laughs> James Janney's my tape. Whatever that motherfucker says is true. I believe anything James Janney says because I already agree with it. Okay. So once you satisfy the feelings I already have, yeah. you're brilliant. Mm -hmm. That's uh, how people work. You didn't know that's how people work? <laughs> if I feel something and then you tell me a smart way about how I'm right about <laughs> yeah, my feelings, that is, you're smart. That is Andrew Tate. That is, that is, yeah, is yeah, yeah, yeah. And you can make fun of your friend. You can dunk. Yeah, women won't give yeah. me any pussy. Well, it's because all they care about is money. That guy's on it. Let's yeah. go. That guy's a genius. Andrew Schultz dunks on Akash Singh. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. No, this is not an attack on you, and I don't hold you responsible. I'm for this attacking at all. you. We are I, all, I'm attacking you. Our I greed this. is what's responsible. No, I, I still believe, so I don't feel attacked. No, no, and, and let me. Let, no, 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 no. Let me, let me, let me say this. Let me say this. He's right to believe because another. I'll say this because another wave of the greed will happen. What I'm saying is eventually. You're gonna have to get out. Uh -huh. It doesn't have to be this wave or the next wave or ten waves. Yeah. Right. But there's and eventually there's gonna be a time where you have to get out. We gotta yeah. get you a documentary, bro. Right? We're gonna, the we're only gonna, way we're you, gonna show you a like, documentary. Like if you even look at all the propaganda in the language, it's brilliant. Like the language is all propaganda, and the people don't even realize it. They go diamond hands, hodl, or whatever like that. Hold on for dear life. Yeah. Right. Like like all these all these terms are used to keep, to trick you into keeping your money in the coin mm -hmm. so these other people that are waiting to rug pull can inflate it enough so they can get their shit out immediately. It's just genius. Mm -hmm. And then people identify with the terms like, oh, dude, you have paper hands, you fucking pussy. Give me paper hands. <laughs> I wish my hands were made of paper. <laughs> These diamonds are big those, are, broke. those are not diamond hands. You don't know how to get I in your phone. Yeah, 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 right yeah. Now. Yeah. You don't know the password in your first phone. Of all, first of all, they are diamond hands because diamonds have no real value either. Okay. So, yeah. so, yeah. Yeah. so that's oh, a good diamond hand point. is. Yeah, tell your wives that. <laughs> <laughs> I already did. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it's just again. This I think that you will make money. I genuinely That's, think yeah, you will. I just think stuff is as worth <laughs> as much as we think it is. He genuinely does not. No, no, I genuinely. <laughs> think I want to be the narrator of this part. This part. Put, it, put it this way. Put it this way. Put it this way. <laughs> I think that there will be another opportunity yeah. for you to make money, whether yes. he takes his money out or not. Yeah. And will he I be happy know. for him when he makes all that money? 
Well, here's the other thing about that. <laughs> buy back. <laughs> <laughs> when that he's going to buy back. I, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he's going to be yes, mad. That, yes. Wait, he's making money? No, 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 no. 1,000%. No, no. tell you something. 1,000%. This, this is the trickiest thing. This is the new flying cars. <laughs> no, no. This is the, <laughs> the new flying cars. thing about Sam Bankman Fried. Yes. <laughs> Sam Bankman Fried is a villain. Yeah. <laughs> He's a villain I'm sorry. to all the people that lost money with him. He is the most evil person on the planet. To the people who never invested in crypto and saw idiots get smart, and no, not, sorry, and saw idiots get rich for no reason, he's a hero. Mm-hmm. He's a hero. Yeah. The majority of people, <laughs> I mean this sincerely, the majority of people saw Sam Bankman Fried loses $40 billion worth of crypto and they go, let's go! <laughs> So, nobody feels bad <laughs> yes. about anybody that loses money gambling and crypto's gambling. Yeah. So nobody feels that. No. The tragedy is there's like guys like fucking that threw his entire fucking life savings into FTX thinking that it was his one opportunity to make money, like serious money in his life for his retirement. Mm-hmm. That's fucking tragic. We never think of those people. We think about some fucking guy still in his basement. <laughs> now, now. Yeah, Alex no. has gold on his teeth, bro. No. Yeah, his no. teeth are full of gold. He's like, man, he's poor, broke motherfucker. Yeah, he's like, precious metals. Yeah. 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 Gold, you gold. Can put that on your teeth. Gold is reliable. <laughs> so those people suck, but nobody identifies right, those people as the investors oh. of crypto. They think about the crypto billionaires. Listen, here's the reality when it comes to, this is the reality when it comes to life in general. If your friends who have never made money in their life. I know which friend you're talking about specifically. You. It's not me. It's you. <laughs> no, it's if not. your friends no, who have got, never he's made. He's got a friend way more rich that started way more broke. If, if your friends who have never. <laughs> hey, 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 shouts, buddy. Yeah, listen, listen. You know who you if are. If your friends who have never made money in their life yeah. start making money yeah. based on a thing, it's bullshit. He's still mad. No, no, no. <laughs> Remember, we started Patreon for a reason. <laughs> remember where yeah, you were. Yeah, one Bitcoin. Remember where you were. It's not like you were flush with fucking money, okay? Yeah, my point but is, this is my Bitcoin. Say again? This is my Bitcoin. What is? This podcast. No, no. <laughs> no. no. Bitcoin podcast. is your Bitcoin. This podcast is real. Put us in here. This is a real thing that we like work and like make yeah, money yeah, yeah. on. Yeah. Yeah. That's tangible, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that, that is a fungible yeah. token. I, real, I look like a bored ape, but I'm not. Okay? Yeah, yeah. So the point is, the point is, if anybody, like the point of this out, he goes, he had all these people that were making tons of money on mortgages in around 2007. Mm-hmm. All of his friends, his fucking dumb friends who didn't even fucking graduate college, making all this money in fucking mortgages. Fucking idiots, baboons, making money in fucking mortgages. Yeah. Once you see your friends making money in mortgages, yeah. immediately go, ah, this is falling apart. Do you remember this? We're in a fucking hotel in Arizona. We're in the pool and there's these like five British people, no teeth, talking mm-hmm. about like, yeah, we just, you know, we travel all over the world, blah, blah, blah. We made all this money in crypto. And they were like trying to hustle us into crypto. Do you remember this at the pool? Nope. And they were like these like hillbillies. From, yeah, they're hillbillies from England. And we're, they were like, yeah, you know, we've been doing crypto. We've been selling trades. It's the new, it's the future, bro. And like literally no teeth. Like their tongue was like hanging out. Yo, that's just British. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I guess. Yeah. Problem. Yeah, yeah. And we're, I was looking at this and I was like, oh, yeah, this is. Good. This is like a year and a half ago. And I was like, yeah, it's this is not, not good. good. Yeah. Can, can I say the other one that's about to go? Oh, yeah, please. Um, everybody's making money in real estate now, right? <laughs> every fucking idiot. <laughs> every fucking idiot is making money in real estate right now, right? Every every New York apartment's going for $5 million fucking dollars. This house over here is going for $20 million. Tell me. It's going down. <laughs> it's going down. <laughs> Okay, if your friend's wife who never had a job in her life is making money in real estate, it's going down. Bad. How, did you make money in your apartment? Don't you rent your place? No, I'm luckily losing. That's how I know. <laughs> how are you as the only person losing, losing money? I'm fine. How are you losing money in your apartment? You have a beautiful I can't place. Raise the fucking rent you because have- she cries every time, <laughs> and I have a heart. 
I want to raise the rent a hundred dollars. I'm literally paying. <laughs> Listen for this to more woman. Andrew Tate immediately. I know. Listen bro. to more Andrew Tate. You're home. a simp. You're being manipulated, bro. I'm paying for this woman you're, to live in my home. You're getting pimped. You're getting, getting, getting pimped. I though. did. You're getting pimped, bro. I tried, and then she starts crying, and I just can't do it. I can't do it. So I just <laughs> pay for her to live talk to her. I can't. Listen to more Andrew Tate. Listen to three videos. Have your friend talk to her. I had the best financial year of my life, and I'm supposed to go to this poor woman. Yeah, I know. <laughs> like, come on, bro. Come on. <laughs> the dumbest <laughs> thing I ever did is they let them know that I own the fucking place. I should have had a management company or something handled so it has nothing to do with me, so they're the bad guy. You were just calling them? Not me, but my realtor was was doing He's been fan, absolutely fantastic. I'm super grateful that he's been handling it. But they know that I own the place so that she has leverage. But, uh, imagine... <laughs> Imagine <laughs> fucking a millionaire comedian a, a kicks new, out. Uh, oh, kicks out a, a, a new Coffeezilla video. Uh, I yeah, love exactly. Coffeezilla. I wonder what uh -huh. he's talking about. Coffeezilla gonna crush me. So I just, she's, I don't raise it. And, you know, it's fine. Oh, you're <laughs> fucked. Forever. So wait. So she resigned the lease twice. I had two other opportunities. <laughs> I, 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 just just give it to her now. Just you know, give it to her. Can I tell you what I did? This is what I did. This is what I did. Oh, this is so embarrassing. I'm the worst. <laughs> I refinance my mortgage so that I would lose less money. Yeah, I remember that. So instead that. of raising her rent, I was like, oh, I'll, I'll take care of it on this side. Yeah. And then I refied. <laughs> but that was good. The interest rate was super low. Like you did that. Well, no, I did interest two. only. Oh, okay. Uh, so I had, no, I did the worst thing ever. I had a 30-year mortgage on for nothing. And then I refied to a 10-year interest only, which means you're only paying the interest, uh, you're not paying any of the principal. That's smart. So eventually in 10 years, I'm gonna have to, I still have to pay the principal. Yeah. But I had a 30-year mortgage. Right now, yeah. when mortgage rates are 7%, the value of the property is the mortgage. Yeah. And she'll have squatters rights by then. So uh, you'll, I don't even know what you're gonna do. You're gonna have to evict her so I get the city involved. <laughs> you just look. Turn that shit. All your stuff is in there I too. I can make money in one way. She, she, I can make money in one way. I don't know how to make money off of this other thing. I try to make money in crypto, I lose everything. You know why okay, I know real estate? I try to make money in real estate, I lose everything. You know why I think real estate I can't make fall? money taking advantage of people, yeah. That's what I realized. Here's how you I even it out. I can't make money taking advantage of people, Here's yeah. how you even it out. She knows it's your apartment. Tell the people who she is. <laughs> what are you trying what? to do that's right now? You're going to dox her? Yeah, that's yeah. wild. Wow. Oh. Yeah, yeah, that was <laughs> You're gonna dox people to go that. to his apartment? No, not to go to an apartment, but just like shame her and to be like, yo, you should be paying more for that. <laughs> market no. value, pay market value. For yeah, that. if there's one uh, people, uh, like one group of people everyone sympathizes with, it's the landlord. Yeah. Gotta yeah. fuck that up. Oh, yeah. Gotta fuck that up. Being a landlord, bro. But <laughs> that's some fans. evil shit. Don't dude. call yourself a landlord, bro. I don't want, like, he's a landlord. It's got a lord in the name. Like, I, that is, I he's got a girl trapped in his castle. And he's losing money on it. Yeah, me too. I don't own anything. He yeah, ain't living it right, bro. I, I just take care of all the bills and shit. Oh, oh my god! god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> For real? That's I'm I'm in it. Uh, you know, no, I think real estate it. gonna crash again because he's looking to buy again. Mm. That's why I don't trust his real estate shit at all. Who's looking to buy? You. I ain't never buying nothing again. <laughs> <laughs> How many conversations he stopped? Bro? Hold on, apartment just came available. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I'd be, I'd be pretending with my wife to give her something to think about yeah, for the yeah. future, but I ain't really gonna fucking buy about just, just, just be it on Zillow yeah, for no reason. Zillow and chill. <laughs> I don't even go on Netflix no more. I Zillow and chill. Yeah. <laughs> it cast it to the TV. Oh, what do you think about this one? Oh, the kitchen's too small. <laughs> 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 you know? What are we gonna do, dog? Listen, what do you mean what we In six months, she's gonna have to re-sign the lease. She's how gonna... do you, how do you, hey. how do you landlord people? <laughs> that, it, to me, hurts, bro. I, that hurts. Inflation is landlord? up 5%, let's just make it 5%. Well, let's do that. You move back in. Downsize. <laughs> yeah, but get a roommate. Be like, hey, we're gonna split. No, I'm saying philosophically, <laughs> like somebody's going through a hard time and you gotta go get that fucking money from them every month. That's hard, you man. You gotta give the apartment to somebody that's in your family mm -hmm. and be like, hey, my family member needs to move in. I'm sorry, I have to, at the end of this lease, you have to go. And then that family member can live there and take advantage of you, but at least his family. That's yeah. a good point. Yeah. They, good I mean, they point. won't pay any rent, but at least his yeah. family. <laughs> At least I'll be getting taken advantage of by my own. By your yeah. own blood. By you my you own have blood. to create an image of who you think this person is without knowing anything. Oh, but it, This person made millions in crypto. Dude, mm. dude this person millions. is a crypto When whale. I was looking millions. for an apartment, I looked at an apartment in that building, 30% more than <laughs> 30%? <laughs> at least. It could have been 40% more. This is a highway robbery. How do you lose money in real estate? They don't, Yo, hey, hey Dub, yeah. Dub needs a place to live still, right? No, I got a hey, nice bro. place. Oh. Hey, bro. <laughs>
<laughs> you want to? I only know how to make money one way, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Telling these jokes, baby. That's it. That's it, bro. <laughs> That's it. She's, she's at an expensive restaurant. The city's like, oh shit, it's uh, time to sign the lease to get it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she's probably taking she, she, me up. She calls him my lord, I think. She's like, my lord. I'm my lord, please. It's like a Game of Thrones. Yeah. She's like, I, I purchased Infamous. <laughs> We've had a rough harvest. <laughs> you think she's like a surf selling buckwheat? Like, this is crazy. Oh, fuck. It's, she it's, lives in Manhattan. She's having a great time. Do y'all know what I'm talking about, though, ethically? Yes. yes. Like, you have a human being yes. that might be struggling. Yeah, living in an amazing place in Manhattan. No, it's, it's tough to live in Gramercy in Manhattan. That's really like your life is hard. Yeah, yeah, she's, she's you know what on mean? the ropes. If you're living in Gramercy, this is her last life. Like, I don't know what's going on with her life. Maybe oh, some dude, I'm thing. sure yeah. it's tragic. Y'all are heartless. She's, she's living in the Y'all are heartless. She's living in the broke city in the world. You gave her a COVID deal, though. Yeah, 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 everybody's COVID deal went up. You're the only COVID deal Here's that didn't go up. We're still in a pandemic. Hell, we're still in a pandemic. He's bouncy all of a sudden. We got COVID in the right hands right now. We got 30% new cases in China, Look at Look at the IBM virus, bro. China. Did you He's get coughing. A He's coughing right Did now. You get a booster yet? I don't know. <laughs> Here's the way: find out whatever they're actually charging for an exact same apartment in the building, and then charge her five percent less. Like I said, five percent. Talk less. to your friend oh, about oh, it. Oh, 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 he will have <laughs> no issue. Yeah, yeah. Don't, don't let Doug do that because this girl will absolutely kill herself. Yeah. But I think maybe what if we just get her out? What if we just get her out through some type of what? like? What? No, no, no. But like, like. Uh, <laughs> Like we go. No, no, doxing is not good. No, 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 no we don't dox. But like, oh, good. why is the girl gonna kill herself with Dove's advice? Because Dove's gonna just grind her away and yeah, take everything. Yeah. Are you 100%. saying that we just start moving other people into that yes. apartment? Is that? And be like, oh, actually, this yeah. is a disputed apartment. Yeah, got you, got you, got you. And then, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then we take down a wall. We add some more people. And, and then, then it just becomes so uncomfortable for her to live there that she eventually just goes moves to Nebraska. It opens yeah. a restaurant. There you go. Hey, <laughs> falafel for everybody. No, but I'm thinking like, what if you just get like a speaker in the window, make make some like noises, like, oh, there's rodents or. No, 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 no. You can't get up to the, the window's too high. <laughs> you get up to I was looking over Central Park, so she's floor. like. This girl's struggling, dude. <laughs> yeah. She's on a high floor with double pane windows, so yeah, you yeah. can't hear the outside world. Yeah. Why, she's like, why does it feel different? <laughs> making money in this way. Um, why does it feel mu different, like making money the way we make money? Because you're charging other people and they're making money off of them. And you don't and need it. And you're making a profit off of them. Also, the elasticity of demand. Let's go, bro. <laughs> I, I got a degree. Go, no, go. but like you need a place to live. So if you're like raising the price on someone that needs something to live, like insulin, fucking uh, apartment, yeah, all that yeah, shit. Yeah, it's yeah, like yeah, I feel yeah, bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 No, 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 I no, watched no, a documentary no, about this. No, he's no. making yeah. a really good point. Like somebody needs shelter. So yeah. I, am I taking advantage of a need? Yeah. Whereas like people don't need a podcast, they don't need a comedy show, but we ideally provide something that has so much value that they're willing on their own volition to support. It's kind and of a they get value from it. Yeah. It, is a, it is a luxury. And it feel, my mom would always say this about fucking dance lessons. She's like, we're really lucky. And I was like, why? She's like, well, we, we make money uh, off of something that makes people feel good and that they choose to opt into. It's not like... They have to, and mm. then we're gonna remove it from them, and then they can fucking die. And I, and I, and I was like, whoa, that's a really cool ethical way to make a living. Maybe I'm being super gay right now. But, no, no, that's true. But maybe that's what I have. It's like by raising the rent, I'm, I'm making, I'm objectively making her life slightly more difficult. Mm -hmm. Where it, you didn't what? think about this when you bought an apartment in New York City? No, nah, so I thought that's what you did when you got money. You buy an apartment, someone lives there, they pay for the whole value of the apartment. Yeah. This is why 2008 happened. Because people <laughs> like me. Yes. Okay? <laughs> if, not, if there are more people like you, nah, 2008 like would never have happened. insurance against this is you bought in a building with 100 more units. Can I tell you something? sounds evil when he says it. Can I tell you something? Ugh. You can live for free, sweetheart. What? Yo, no, don't say that. You can live for he's free, not, He doesn't sweetheart. mean that. He doesn't you mean that. You can live for free. Hey, that's a verbal contract. Yeah, I know. That is binding. That's legally binding. I can't help anyone. I was talking my wife. Baby, you only ever got 10 red a day. Look at how nerdy everybody got. He's like, woo! As your boys, yeah, yeah, boys yeah. got your back. You don't make your girl pay rent? My girl pays rent. Does she? <laughs> yeah, of course, bro. Really? No, okay, good, 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 I good. rationalize that in my head, though, sometimes. Which is? Because like she's making money, so I'm like, oh, yeah, that's your half. <laughs> wait, and, wait, 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 and then wait. we go to dinner, and then and then I'll be like, yeah, you got this one. And, but like it just is like an un, you know, unlimited amount that just gets added in, in my head. Yo, I'd be, I be wanting to know where my girl's money goes. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta look into the books a little bit, baby. Right? You know? Cause she's out here balling. That's what that's what I'm saying. Like, 
Where's it going? I do think most wives with husbands who make money think your money is our money and my money is my money. Yeah. She don't think that way, but she she acted. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? Like I gotta look, I gotta see the things she's buying. I need to go get understand what's going on over here. Talking about her credit card. You're bill. You're gonna audit your wife? I think I might need to audit my wife. Oh, my credit card bill so high. Pay it. <laughs> you making money? You ain't gotta pay for nothing else. Pay that. Yeah. I know how you could feel better. Huh? Your young, hardworking editor who. He's is wearing, looking at Zillow wearing for an pearls. apartment. He's wearing pearls. Yeah, he kills he himself. Wears yeah. pearls now. Thanks, Sal. Yeah, he wears I'm it. just saying. I, I oh, he like needs that. a place to live. Oh, do you want a place to live? Sure. Of course. I love a place to live. <laughs> it's not like Mickey Mouse. I know. What's the You know what's crazy? So no, this is, oh, oh, you want to oh, know oh. something crazy right now? That you that? offered this to him? No, 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 no. Did I feel so much better charging him more than the woman this <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I, I think Why is that? It, or maybe it was no. Miles. I think you offered it. I offered it to everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Well, not everybody, but he did. <laughs> everybody who could afford it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a nice place in the head. It's not Long Island City. Yeah. It's like a good God, spot. Damn, man. <laughs> <laughs> am I feeling? Am I being? Am I being pussy? I think that you hit that. I think you hit it on the head right there. Like something nah, about you're being, like you being pussy because rent is something that everyone is used to. It goes up every time you resign the lease. Everyone is used to that. That's like fundamental. That's not even something that you're doing specifically wrong. All the landlords are doing that. <laughs> That's right. I know, but maybe, and I'm not saying that they shouldn't do it and everybody has to pay their bills and that kind of stuff. We're just very fortunate. We're like, I don't make a living. I think if I, like you were saying earlier, if, like, if I made a living off of it and that's how I fed my family, I would feel better because it's like, yo, if I don't do this, like you're taking away food from my family. Like now my family's really hurting and I'm not asking you to do anything that's abnormal. It's like, you know, yeah. you're still at market value, et cetera. But I think because I don't, and I'm very fortunate where we can provide for ourselves with what we do here, that like grinding a fucking hundred bucks or something, yeah. uh, it just it felt it's like gross, getting into like so. the insulin business as a side hustle. Yeah, it's, it's like, like yeah, exactly. On, on the side, I'm gonna start charging people. Martin like Sorelli, what's fucking, that guy? Martin yeah, Sorelli yeah, yeah. does like some life saving medication that he it's, charged ridiculous. Prices. It's like you already made money. Now you need to make extra money on yeah. the insulin, Martin Sorelli. On the things people need the most. The, yeah. yeah, like I just felt weird. Yeah, and this girl's probably had a hard life. White woman, no justice for her. <laughs> exactly. Never in the world. Second yeah. class citizen. Yeah, yeah dude. Rough. Spend yeah. 100 bucks. Okay, so am I, you guys seem to think I'm being unrealistic. Yeah. You seem to think that I'm being all right. No, nah, I mean, it's like a nice thing I to get do. It. No, you're I you're get doing it. something charitable, I think it's very kind. I think if you went up like the standard rate of inflation or whatever, like the thing in New York City is, I don't think it would be egregious. But it is a kind thing that's playing on your guilt. Very Catholic of you. Yeah. I think you're being unfair. <laughs> you're not, you're, yeah, you're not setting her up for the future. She's going to live in places and be like, oh, okay, I'm used to. Somebody not raising the rent on me. And then, and then they're going to raise the rent. And I can yeah. cry and then my she's going to be on the it. street. Yep. And then she's going to live in Andrew Tate's castle. Mm -hmm. And this is what's going to happen, bro. All because of you. Yeah. <laughs> All the special treatment and shit. Like. God damn it, Dove. It's so hot in here. It's bro. so hot. God. It's so it's hot. unbelievable. Can you just show me the degrees? What is it on? Bro, show me the degrees at least. You, guys, you said the number, right? Yeah. Show me the degrees. <laughs> Oh, why? oh, he's making a load all of a sudden. Oh, no, he, moved, he did he something. Moved, something he did something. I did, I did, something I shifty. Right. Something happened. Drop it down to 70. 70. That is the temperature that we've been <sighs> saying, 68. But 70? Yeah. No. Wow. Why? That's why? why? That's 60. Come on. 60? That's 60. Shifty okay. looks different. Okay, let's button this up. Yeah, right? can we button it up? Let's what's, do it. what's the deal? So what's going to happen with Tate? Is I think he's gonna really live in your apartment, rent free. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tate, I have a place for you if you need. You and Tristan can live there. Oh, God. Yeah, I think it's like money shit, and then he'll like pay the fines or whatever, and like be sanctioned and have wages garnished or whatever, and then be free. I think assuming he's that get it's more famous. Assuming there's no sex crime stuff with it. Now, here's the thing: if he doesn't go away for, if he doesn't go away for something that people view as morally reprehensible, I think it only increases his star power. Oh yeah, and the fervor of his fan base. He's already bigger now, 100%. Yeah, yeah. Be, and especially like, let's say he does five years for tax evasion, it's like, oh, they couldn't stop him, so they had to get him on yeah. tax evasion. Oh, he was too powerful, the Matrix was trying to quiet him, it's like, yeah. or maybe he was finding ways to skirt around taxes and yeah. he wasn't, you know, bribing the right people in Romania. That's the other thing. It's like, my man was talking about how corrupt I was Romania is. Like, you snitch yeah. on yourself, yeah. fam. Like, don't yeah. talk about your homies. If you are paying mm. motherfuckers off, 
say Romania is not corrupt at all. It's the perfect place, and you want yeah. people to move there. It's amazing. And you're Don't say they corrupt. you're asking Romania to prosecute you, even if it is a corrupt place. You can't go say that shit to millions of people. You're basically going, you won't. Yeah. <laughs> do it. Yeah. You're saying do it. Okay. They did it. <laughs> yeah. Right? It's like you, wow. In order to maintain their reputation, they have to. Yeah. Prosecute you almost. Yeah. And look for anything, mm -hmm. like nickel and dime, every little thing. Even if he's just doing like the regular tax loopholes, they're probably finding ways to get him on that. Oh, yeah. And just the fact they released his brother, like, real quick, kind of indicates to me that, like, it's not criminal in the way that everyone is projecting. And the it. prosecutor. It's like wearing the mink coat to the boxing match. Like, yeah. yeah. If you were doing this shit silently, they wouldn't have give a fuck. Yes, but Frank wanna, Lucas or whatever. Yeah. But yeah, his yeah. brand is not doing it silently. His brand is calling everyone pussy, Romanians pussy, whatever, whatever. Yeah. Mm. So it just caught up to him. The brand so this catches is the up. price you pay. Yeah. yeah. The price I, you I, pay. I think a similar thing happened with Takashi in a way. Like his brand was like telling everyone to go suck my dick. And then eventually people like prosecuted and like they got agents inside his thing and they used him as a way to get the gang. And then he had to make a choice. And so like if your brand is like fuck everyone, eventually someone's going to come for you and then you got to come collect. I like that you brought up Takashi because <clears throat> I saw a... I saw like a headline of Sam Bankman Free's uh, sloth face girlfriend or whatever, that <laughs> fucking disgusting twat that's yes. in business with him, yeah. was going to flip on him. Mm -hmm. And I think she and a couple other people are going to snitch. And I was infuriated by it because she was the CEO of the company. She's going on podcasts bragging about their success. Her uncle, I think, was the person that works at the SEC that they were trying to use as a connection mm. to lobby to get regulation, because remember, this was a race between them and Binance, who could be the first US regulated exchange. <clears throat> so she's so intimately involved with all the fuck shit, right? I'm, I'm assuming, maybe she wasn't, but intimately involved in all this fuck shit, and then she's willing to snitch to get less time. And to me, this seemed like such an open and shut case. It's not like there's like nefarious activity going on that they can't prove. They can prove there was 40 billion. Now there's no more 40 billion. You guys were at the head of the company when this happened. You're responsible. Simple as that. Like, yeah, but like, <clears throat> if you have to make the prosecution work and like really dig in the books, and yeah. uh, or you can just have this person flip, tell me exactly everything. I'll give you a little bit of better deal, and yeah. I have a nice. He he, he hit enough. his tracks. Yeah. He went to the Bahamas. You got to go through all the Bahamian records. There's no extradition. You can't. I kind of think that's what's going on with Young Thug. Well, I want I want to get to that one second. I just want to say about this. It. For the first time in my life, it made me infuriated at a snitch. I didn't understand why being a snitch, like in Italian mafia shit is so bad and like black gangs is so bad. Like I didn't understand why. And it's like, now I got it. It was like, motherfucker, you were with me doing the foul shit. This is your ideas too. Mm -hmm. yeah. And the second you had the opportunity to flip on me for yourself, like, I actually think there's a human instinct outside of, like, just gang shit, like a human instinct to look at snitches as vile mm -hmm. because they are viewing themselves <sighs> over the group. Yeah, you betrayed me. We, we were a part of the tribe. And then some shit went down, and then you picked a different tribe? You just understand it. <laughs> the, the reason, I kind of get that, though, actually. It, it, there is a little bit of a difference in terms of why. If this one specifically stuck wow. out at me. And I think it's because, like, white, white people. <laughs> oh, okay. No, yeah, I'm like, what's the difference? No, it sounds like, like mobsters and shit like that. No, no, it sounds like it. Sounds it's like, not white people. Yeah. It, the, uh, so, so, and the reason why I had to think about was, was Takashi with, with this. And why I don't think what Takashi did was necessarily wrong. Now, I know there's another conversation piece that goes with this, okay? But the violation, Takashi snitched on his boys who fucked his girl, kidnapped Valid. him, did Valid. all this other shit. Mm -hmm. They violated the trust first, in my opinion. Now, he's part of the street, so he has to handle it on some street shit, blah, blah, blah. I, I've heard that argument as well. So instead of, instead of going to the cops, he should go to them and handle on some street shit, whatever. Once you violate the code, it don't matter how it's handled. You violated me. You violated our trust. We had this trust. We are breaking the law together. And the only reason we can accomplish this is because we all trust each other mm -hmm. to remain true. You violated that. Don't be upset at me now that I also violated. You violated in a different way. I violated in a different way. I think what some of them would say is that, hey, we've been propping you up to be this gangster. You need to be paying us more. And they were he wasn't paying them enough. So now they're like, oh, you're not going to pay us enough. We're going to take it from you. Yeah, but, that's but before kinda... that, they fuck his girl? Yeah. I mean, like, 
There's there's real different rules. <laughs> like, no, I know there's different but, rules. And it, she was she wasn't the best. Maybe if, if fair. I guess what I'm trying to say is like it made me think of this situation as well, where where it's just like. God damn, like, it's one thing when you have, like, a criminal kingpin that's forcing you to do crimes, and if you mm. don't do them, they're going to kill you. Yeah. Nobody's forcing this bitch to do this shit. She's enriching herself. She's using her family connections to further enrich herself, and then the first <clears throat> opportunity she can to snitch on that motherfucker so she could have a better life, she does? Yeah. Your family's connections were being used. No, you're, it's why I completely agree with it. I, but, it's gross and, to me, but bro. But yeah. you're with your partner. Let's just say your shorty's doing some nefarious shit right now. Mm-hmm. You gonna snitch on her? Nah, you gonna hold it down. Yeah. Wait, 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 what? Like, if your partner right now starts doing some shit, some illegal shit, maybe it's not that bad, but it's just like, whatever, and then oh, you're not gonna snitch on your girl. You're not gonna no, snitch on your wife. She's the CEO no, of no, the no, company. No, 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 I know. Yeah. But let's say if, like, all right. Also, his and partner, what do you mean by partner? Wife, is that wife, like wife. a relationship? Yeah. Okay. I, yeah. But isn't, I don't know if they were married. That's why I just. No, they were say. boyfriend and girlfriend, and then she was fucking all the people. They were in those polyamorous relationships. So everybody uh, working uh, was yeah, doing it. It's like. I was just saying, like, hey, you kind of hold down the person that you're with. And yeah, but so she's maybe, snitching. Yeah, because now they got in trouble. And like you said, they weren't that close. But while you're in the, while you're doing the thing, it's like, hey, if I can help you out, I'll help you out while you're doing the thing. Because we're in this together as a team. If I'm going to benefit off of this life that you're, you know, providing for me and I can help out in a way like that was her version of helping. Like, hey, oh, I got this family member. This this might help no, out. No, she was shit. more intimately involved in that. Yeah, but I don't think this was her scheme. I think it was she her knew. scheme. She was writing the yes. fucking code. I thought it was his scheme. Son, she's this. I don't know how to put the, yeah, I think that's. I think okay. you don't know enough about her how and how intimate she yeah, was okay. in involvement. If there was like ten of them, that was running this whole fucking thing. Mm. All of them intimately involved. Sixty-eight degrees, stuff, Please. <laughs> I guess what I'm trying to say is, it really made me think about snitching differently. Yeah. Like it is. I guess my point to that is like I always would see snitches as like a bystander. Like, it would be, like, some guy that was, like, uh, uh, like tertiary to the gang. Yeah. That saw some crime happen, and then they'd be like, what happened? And we're going to put you in jail unless you tell us. And then it was, like, I was like, damn, that's a shitty situation to be in. I never realized, oh, a lot of these snitches were also complicit or just accomplices or accessories to whatever that, the crime it, was. It, Your it, first it, example isn't a snitch. That, that's like, the other we thing. Don't consider that. Exactly. Right, I thought that was snitching. Uh, wow. Me too. I also thought that was snitching. And I was uh, like, nah. yo, I'm just on the block. I see this shit go down. The cops come to me. I'm going to tell them yeah, what the fuck yeah, happened. Nah. Yeah. I thought that was wrong, too. No, that's fine. No. That's fine. You're a civilian. If you are profiting yeah. off it, you're enriching yourself off of it. I mean, that's the other. I don't know. For some reason, that shit's stuck. I was like, yo, that is disgusting. No, it's fucked. It's you fucked. vile pig. Yeah. <laughs> like, it is gross, bro. But you then, sacrificed you f- us to save yourself when we both did the same we thing. We both did it. Yeah. yeah. That's fucked. That would fuck with your head. I don't know how any normal person could be like, okay, we fucked over all these people, but then the person I was closest to doing all the fucking over is now in prison for the next 10 years, and I'm the reason. And then you got to, like, walk around. Because they put survival on you. That's where human yeah, beings who are trying to survive are not going to be living by a code. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. we can act like— Desperate people when, do desperate when shit. When cops come in and, and start playing mind games, they're like, yo, that guy's snitching right now. Oh, yeah, yeah, You start getting fucked with. So, like, I understand yeah, why it's gross. I can also empathize with— how it happens. Yeah. I get how you get there. And I'm trying, I'm going to die in jail. Son, if we committed a crime together, it's not even a question who dies first in prison. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to think I'd never snitch. I would like to think that, but like, son, I'm going to fucking die in there. Son, I'll be honest. My life is on the line. Know, are there Indian prison and not in a Not in a easy way. <laughs> I'll be honest I'm not going to die will. painlessly. Yeah, nah. I think that, I think that's why I think women should get larger sentences because <laughs> their, their time in is jail awesome. It's is way gross. better. They get their hair braided. Exactly. They got a girlfriend. It's summer camp. They're finding ways to put on nail polish. There's no yeah. nail polish in jail. They're nope. making nail polish out of <laughs> fucking crayons or something yeah. like that. Men are and making then, knives out of soap boxes. So that they can protect themselves from getting butt fucked in a shower. <laughs> you can't compare three to three. <laughs> it's that. not three to three. Yeah. It's 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 like that wage gap or whatever the fuck yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same thing with prison. It should be like yeah. 10 to three. Uh-huh. If you're a girl, you get 10 <laughs> years for every three years that a guy does because I'm sure it's like three times less Dangerous. Uh, it's like a woman size. So seven. if Meg was guilty, she should have got fifty years in jail, <laughs> instead of if Tori was guilty getting twenty or whatever. He's whatever that is, whatever the math adds up, I actually believe that. <laughs> it's a shoe size thing. Yeah, exactly. And I'll be honest, if you go to one of those like cute shoe jails, size. what are those cute jails? You know, like the the, oh, the, the, the fucking rich yeah. white people all minimum go to. Security? Yeah, yeah the minimum jail. security shit. That should be longer too. You could go. You could do one in Buffalo, or you could go <laughs> ten in Country Club. I'm, I'm with Who's that. gonna take? Yeah. 
Yeah, one in buttfuck. Give me I'm ten in country club. I might do one. Ten in yeah, country. I might do one in buttfuck. Who's gonna be like, you know what? Give me the one buttfuck. One in buttfuck. I would do. Guaranteed yeah, a buttfuck. It's like it's just a hey, risk hey, of hey, getting buttfuck. I'm guaranteed a buttfuck. <laughs> nah, no, 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 no. I'm guaranteed. I'm just like that. Buttfuckable, bro. Nah, nah, nah. If they make his ass shave and you just see this cute face in there, he's pretty, but he built bad. No, it's not about looks. Nobody wanna grab onto that. No, that's true. I'm built like a woman, to be honest with you. So it's probably the best. Nah. You ain't built like no woman I know. It's the I'm, I'm not saying I'm the best looking. I'm saying I'm just the easiest to take. No, you're pretty take. as fuck. I'm the easiest to take is what I'm saying. I wouldn't nah, be able to defend myself. Easy. You, would get it, you would get in the gang. You would everybody get in the gang. You'd have a job. You'd be like doing cigarettes or something. You'd be delivering money. Al knows. He was a cop. He put many black people in jail. Al, what? <laughs> I was not what? a cop and I did Dude, not put black people in jail. You made sure they went no, to jail. No, no, yeah. You made sure. I should have made sure they didn't get out. They was acting up. You were like, get your black ass in jail. That's it. You made sure you ain't get out. Unless you snitch. Yeah, yeah. Nah, but... He's you're going first. Yeah, <laughs> like, just sheer weakness. But it's between because he got a dumper on him. No, he's, no, look, so he's, they're gonna he's more fuck fuckable. The shit out of it. He's look, more fuckable. I don't I, even I think they touched you. I would, no, no, no. Like, <laughs> I'm the boss. No, 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 yeah, I'm yeah, gonna be bald. Get out of here. <laughs> like, get out of here. Son, I got longer legs than all of you like. <laughs> <I'm so laughs> sexy. You don't, want, you don't think they wanna see them legs walking around yeah. the unit? A little Son, giraffe looking at us? No. see all this, bro. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, in all seriousness, you you think you're the most rapeable. You're pretty I'm as just, fuck. I'm the weakest, is all I'm saying. Yeah, but it's not about that. It, they like a challenge. Like, rapists don't want what's easiest, they <laughs> want a is, challenge. That is true. They I don't wanna break you. Like yeah. they gonna break you. <laughs> yeah. so, son, son, so, they gonna so, break you. Up. They gonna Yo, break you. Yo. Son, I'm not gonna lie, bro. They break it. Son, you, bro. I was running sweet son, What's up? I was Stop running sweet son. Stop it. They would never. Son, they breaking you, son, bro. They would never. They breaking you, son, bro. You saw Drake copying me, son. Like they oh, yeah, like, Yo, they really I'm just a trendsetter, bro. They wanna be. Why didn't he get locked up for thirty? What? That's how you know Drake's on a different he level saw. than ASAP. ASAP just found out where he was on yeah, the hierarchy. Yeah, I know, yeah. I know. He's like, I called Trump. Drake's like, I am Trump. I don't need to call anyone. They just let me out. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, it's wild. Same thing. Didn't get locked up. Yeah. Yeah. It's Drake, bro. It's Drake. Drake's Drake really got it like that. That's a super flex. Yeah. Anyway. Point is, you're getting raped, you're getting raped. Crypto's you're the future. Getting... And no one will ever <laughs> yeah, rape exactly. you. Exactly. Nobody yeah, wants I, to rape yeah, you. Yeah, ugly fuck. Yeah. Oh, oh I don't get raped. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Wait, but if you're not, can I get no, raped? Nah. Party <laughs> <laughs> wants to be. Yeah. You, you want to be rapeable. You want to at least be rapeable. Yeah. Wait, yeah. Yes, Wait you so do. if you're not getting raped, does that mean you're doing the raping? I no. Clip <laughs> it. <laughs> 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 miles, Miles, yeah. Miles, do your thing, nah, bro. Nah, nah, miles, nah, do your thing. Bro. You're staying nah, late for the edit. You're staying yep. hot yoga. Yep. Yo, that's <laughs> actually a good question. If you are in jail, which one you, would you rather be? <laughs> yo, <laughs> come on. It's a good ass question. I think we all know the good ass question. Good ass question. Yo, thanks which, for bringing that up. Which one would y'all rather be? Yeah. Wait a minute. Oh, you got to take down 10 or get taken once in jail? What would you rather? You fucking. On the couch. <laughs> <laughs> Which one would you rather? But you can pick, right? You you could pick it. Can you pick who takes? You gotta take down ten. Ten is by a lie, dog. Force. It's a lie. By ten bodies oh. over here, boy. I think you say no by four. No question. Yo, this guy. You say by four p.m. I'll get. You're a crazy ten guy, bodies. bro. Ten bodies. Y'all ain't taking ten bodies. I don't want. I don't want to be a rapist, Alex. Yeah, wow, dude. that's not. <laughs> yeah, dude. yeah. You see, come on, son. Yeah, Why are you doing that? Can we continue to have fun? They're gonna figure out my shit. They're gonna figure out my shit. How, how could they put the, 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 the clues together? Yeah, exactly. It's mystery of the ages. Nah, so then no. So take my shit out. Fuck that. No, no, fuck it. If nobody's having fun, nobody's having fun. No, no, we having fun. No, 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 we having fun. Go. Okay. So you're a rapist. You're a rapist. What? I didn't do anything. I got raped. I'm a victim. I'm a survivor. No, no. He's saying he would rather take it once than do it ten. Times. Yes. You, selfish, would rather <laughs> you would rather do it ten times than take it once. That's how I know you snitching. That you a snitch. How? You a snitch. How? You just proved it right there. How? You a snitch. You rather you hurt ten people than hurt yourself yeah, once. Wow. You a snitch. Wow. You got snitch in your butt. This guy's a prosecution. This guy's a prosecution. This is crazy. You got snitch in your butt. He got dick in his butt, but you got snitch. Why did you bring that up? Why did you bring that up at all? We're talking about him. Like he put it just all on you. It might not be a might not be 
a guy. Yeah, yeah. It could be a, a CO, a female I'm CO. That got me. Nah. I'm just saying. No, you do. Female right, CO got me. How about this? I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it to you, nice and proper. Okay. okay. Oh, I already got yeah, one. You would. You're racist. Yeah, you would. You're racist. That's not proper. That's not proper. All right. Ten Stop different dudes. Saying it. Ten different dudes. Ten different dudes. Each one, you're bent over. You grab your ankles. Ten different dudes get to walk by on a line. Then they just go like this. Bop. <laughs> okay. Do they make the noise? They, they say just that? go. Bop like that. Okay, you gotta hold your cheeks open. Ten different dudes just go bop like that. Okay. Hook it down. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Ten different dudes. Okay. Or. Okay. Or. Bop. Huh? Or. There's no or. Just, <laughs> he, he, no, just he just wants that. All right. Well, let's do it. Yeah. yeah let's yeah, do it then. Fun. Shit. Let's start. No, no. The or. The or. Yeah. Or ten different dudes. <laughs> bop like that. Yeah. 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 Okay. <laughs> <laughs> or, or, yeah. or, or you, or you, or you gotta fuck somebody in their ass against their will. <laughs> what do you call that? <laughs> there's a word <laughs> for Come what on. that behavior. In prison. In prison. In prison. In prison. So, what is uh, it? Gonna this would have been a really funny. Hey, show. Hey, uh, would have been. Hey, hey, guys, what's it gonna be? Hey, so what's it gonna be, guys? The only challenge of this is uh, I don't Middle know. Middle finger, bro. Jeez, yeah, you know that. Yeah. <laughs> the only challenge is uh, I don't know if I can come ten times. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna be noodled up. Yeah. You're gonna be noodled That's gonna be up. The only uh, hard part for me. Let's, okay, so what, what would it be? Which one would you choose? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah. You nailed that. <laughs> 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 Not even a question. So ten times in a row. What is happening in prison that they just let that happen? <laughs> yeah. like, we find a room. I'll tell you what's happening. Justice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's justice. You don't what, know what am I in prison for? Like, there's so many other something, questions. Something bad. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, something bad. <laughs> <bang. laughs> I deserved it. Yeah, yeah. The judge, the judge yeah. sentenced me to ten binds. No, no, no. <laughs> he did. He sentenced you to ten years in jail. Wow. This is your plea deal. <laughs> but in order for you to plea out. But my attorney's like, take the deal. Listen, all you gotta do is you gotta be in the yard and the dudes walk up like this. They're just looking around. They get they, they nod at the CO. The CO looks the other way. <laughs> just, well, the CO's gonna be like, what are they playing? Family feud over there? <laughs> Survey says. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you do it ten times? Ten times. You're getting bat out uh, ten times. Uh, ten Steve, times. Steve Harvey is one of them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Steve, yeah. ten times. Is there a white family and a black family doing it? Yeah. Yep. Okay, white deal. Black yeah. family. I'm, I'm in then. Would you do it? Deal. Deal? Yeah, I'm gonna take the physical okay. challenge. Alex. <laughs> I'm phoning in a friend. <laughs> it's a long game. It's not I'm playing every one. It's a long game. No, no, no. You have yeah, to take nah. it. You're bent over, you oh, grab it's not your even ankles. a contest, dude. Bam. Easy. Come Just on. Think about it. Y'all want the bat so quick. Don't, don't hurt someone it's, else. I don't want to hurt someone. It's a much better option. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ten yeah. of them. It's ten of them. That, you that gotta bend like over hurts. though. <laughs> like ten times. Bend yeah. over. So now. Some of them are gonna miss. Oh, that's true. Oh, that's true. That's not true. What? Everyone is going in. <laughs> And what if they don't miss? That's not true. They gotta read it. I don't know where the fuck you made that up. <laughs> that that thing is gaped. Whoa. Whoa. And, Why and is it gaped? Can I tell you this? Why is it gaped? A couple of the guys played football earlier in their lives. What? <laughs> so that finger is crook. Whoa. That finger, that <laughs> finger right there. They hit you with shit, that angle. They got it. Michael Irvin. <laughs> <laughs> they got it. They got to whip it. They got to whip it like you, you getting tobacco ready. <laughs> <laughs> they got Which one you do it? Which one you do it? I ain't doing that. What I'm talking about. See, these guys are crazy. You got some crazy motherfuckers. Yo, these guys are crazy. Can we move on, bro? I'm looking forward to it, Mark. (laughs) Can we move on, bro? Brothers in bang. Let's lighten the mood, bro. All right, guys, we're going to take a break for a second because today's episode is sponsored by you saving money for free. Think about that. Yeah, for free. You don't have to do anything, and you just save money. Honey has got your back. Let me explain what Honey is, okay? This is very, 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 very simple. Browser extension, okay? You go buy something online, there's always that little field that you could fill in that says, oh, if you have a discount code, put it in here. Do you ever have that discount code? No, you never do, okay? Well, Honey has all those discount codes. If they exist on the internet, Honey's gonna find it for you. As long as you use the Honey browser extension when you're buying those things, Honey's gonna find those discount codes for you, apply them for you, and you get your discounts. You don't even have to pay for anything. Think about that. 
Well, I mean, you have to pay for your goods, but you're going to get the discount. Save price. money, though. I use it almost every time I buy shoes on Finish Line, Foot Action, whatever. Think $25 off $100 or more purchase. Think no, about that. Bung. You don't have to do anything, okay? Honey doesn't just work on desktops. It works on iPhones as well, okay? All you have to do is activate it on Safari, on your phone, and then save on the go. So if you don't already have Honey, you could be straight up missing out all right? And by getting it, you'll be doing yourself a solid and supporting this show. Get PayPal Honey for free at joinhoney.com slash flagrant, okay? That's joinhoney.com slash flagrant. Go get that savings right now. Now let's get back to the show. All right, guys, we're going to take a break for a second because it's 2023 and you need to be bricked the fuck up. We ready for winter always. Blue Chew got your back and your girls and your moms and your sisters, all of them, okay? Sticky. Not from you, obviously, from the people that they love in their lives. And we respect it, and we love it, okay? Blue Chew, same active ingredients as inside Viagra, Cialis, but this is the chew, this is the one that we rock with, the one that you're gonna rock with, the one you get rock with. And here's how you're gonna get it. You're gonna get it for free. All you gotta do is pay $5 shipping, and you get Blue Chew backbreakers for free. All you gotta do is go to bluechew.com. Make sure you use the promo code flagrant. You get it for free. All you gotta do is pay that $5 shipping. I don't have to say anything else. You should be convinced. Let's get back to the show. Last topic, okay? Because we gotta talk about vacation. Last topic. It is true. It did happen. (laughs) Ronaldo. (laughs) The Ronaldo went to Saudi Arabia. The Ronaldo. (laughs) The Ronaldo went to Saudi Arabia. Yep. That sucks. I know. Sad, dude. Sad. Crazy. And only seventy-five million a year. I thought he was supposed to get two hundred seventy-five million dollars. He said a year. he'd get up to two hundred million in a year, but I don't know how. Yeah, that's yeah. the report. But still, what are you doing, man? Yeah, this is a sad way to go. The, out. They, they validate. My friend said this to me. He goes, uh, "Players validate themselves by the offers they get." So, you know, you're getting contracts. You're still the guy. You're still the man. Mm. And he's not getting offers from any of the other major clubs, it yeah. seems. A lot of the Premier League teams don't want to work with him. Oh, Like, he shit, got offers really? from, or, like, he talked to different teams, and they were like, oh, yeah, we're trying to build around this guy, and you're only going to be here for another year. So to basically sideline everything we've been building for the last three years to try to work you into our system for then you to retire after a year or two is not working. Because he doesn't want to play a part of the oh, system. So he's a bum. Is he wants to be the guy. Yeah. He's just not good enough to be the guy at that that level anymore. Yeah. And if he's going to retire in a year or two, it's like, we're going to do all this work to build this team around you, and you might not even be worth the investment to build a team around. Yeah. He was saying he was talking to Brazilian teams, Portuguese teams, American teams. Which U.S. team wouldn't do it just for two years well, of marketing? That's and, different. I, yeah. I, I think what we're talking about is... You're competing at a still a high level in one here. of the top four yeah. leagues. So now he's like, okay, if I'm not going to compete at the highest level, what's going to make me the most money? Yeah. And it looks like you can't compete with Saudi in yeah. the offers. Mm-hmm. Um, but what my buddy was saying is that that's what the athletes tend to do is they validate themselves by the contracts they're getting, and that was the biggest contract. So in his mind, he can still be the biggest player. Yeah. Probably wasn't getting offered close to that from an American team. Maybe he would have gotten like a percentage of the club or something like that. But I can imagine that this Saudi deal is, even if they say it's 75 million, maybe they're like, listen, we can only say 75 because we might want to lure other players eventually and we don't want to pay them this. So we'll give you this on the side. Mm. Like the crown owns all the money. Right. They can give you whatever the fuck they want. Yeah, percent of jerseys or this house, you get this land, whatever. So... It's a bummer because it could have been really cool as soccer is exploding in America. We have the World Cup coming here. There's the most interest in our lives that we've ever seen in soccer. And then you have arguably the most famous soccer player on the planet comes to America with the other most famous. It would be the perfect time yeah. Yeah, for Messi and Ronaldo to come to America and then soccer become like the second most popular sport in America, that the third been, most popular sport. You have football, basketball, soccer. Ah, I would be awesome. Yeah. And uh, he, you know, he followed the money, and you can't fault him for that. He has every right to make as much money as he wants. But uh, yeah, it's a it's a bummer because he it feels like he missed out on like a cool cultural play. Yeah. Actual question: Someone who doesn't know soccer, it seems like the Messi Ronaldo debate is pretty over. Yeah, I mean it's crazy. If you ask someone in like 2018, and you're like, okay, imagine these two goats are going at it. Messi wins the World Cup, and then Ronaldo can't find a team to play with, and then goes to play in Saudi Arabia. People be like, this what is insane. The fuck Did he get it? injured? Like it's like incomprehensible. It's it like, seems like within the past 30 days or whatever the World Cup, fine, two weeks. The, the conversation. The, yeah, the changed. conversation's over. Yeah, like it's imagine dumb. in two years, like Steph Curry can't find a team and has to go to like Turkey. Yeah, it's like how could that even happen? Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, so he declined that much. 
Who, I don't I mean, like. I think it's partially his. Uh, he wanted to be the guy. Yeah, I think it's a little bit. <clears throat> it's a decline, but also you're not willing to be. <clears throat> you're not willing to be a role player. Uh, okay. And maybe his skill set isn't built around being a role player. Like for example, Steph Curry could play in the NBA until he's 50 years old mm -hmm. because he can stand in the corner and hit threes 10 minutes a game if you need him. He can find the open guy. Yeah. And he's not going to take a pay cut. <clears throat> well, we're talking about, yeah, Ronaldo. Yeah, I guess Ronaldo. what I'm saying is, so Ronaldo's going, I'm not taking a pay cut because again, he's validating himself through the money. It's a weird thing that happens, but my buddy who works in sports is basically like, it's just over this amount of time, that's how you start to identify your status in the world. Yeah, and you don't want to think you're going down. Exactly. Like, I've also heard part of the reason there's holdouts <clears throat> and agents probably play a role in this, but like a player won't think I'm worth 100 million necessarily. What he'll think is if this guy got 98 million, I I'm need... better than that guy, I get 100. Uh, yeah. okay. It's not about the money, it's about the competition even with the contest. That doesn't matter where the money's coming from. Like if you're not in, not in one of the premier leagues. Not doesn't... when you're convincing yourself. Yeah, he's. I think he's in a little bit of denial probably. Yeah, because... Listen, he gets benched for Portugal. They get booted. He doesn't have a great cup. Yeah, doesn't play well. Man, you has issues has with the club. They like kind of oust him. He like talks shit about them. Uh, and fucks up his going, whole deal there. I'm not playing well. It's never him, right? Yeah. He's upset at Portugal. He's upset at Man U. He's always upset. And this is classic, right? It's like classic what happens to a lot of star players who are just like, you know, his. The resilience, the mental resilience that he has that gets him here is also the thing that's going to inhibit him from yeah. realizing that he's fallen it off. It becomes stubbornness after a while. Yeah. Oh, but this spin oh, cycle seems sucks. pretty short relative to what he's done so far that it's pretty unfortunate that, that it puts you in that place so quickly in the end. I, I mean, mean, I think, I think it's expedited by the Messi situation, yeah. right? Like Messi's meteoric rise to the number one football player in the world uh, without a question. He's beloved. Beloved and like everything about his attitude, his demeanor, the fact that he's not loud, the yeah. fact that he's like he's got his girl that he's known since he's twelve. It's yeah. like the perfect fucking story. He's physically yeah. small, like he was the underdog, the runt that became a hero. Like universally it's liked by his teammates, yeah. it seems. Yeah. Pays for the whole fucking the Argentine team. Like they're going through financial hardships. Apparently, he paid for everybody on the team's salaries. Yeah, oh, like wow. one year. So like, like all these crazy cool stories are coming out that he's just like a great guy, and uh, and then poor Ronaldo is like the brash bravado, strong, yeah, tall, cocky, handsome, arrogant, cocky. Take your shirt off, yeah, Gaston. Like yeah, literally. He's yeah. the guy most of your heroes are, and Me Messi is the guy you wish most of your heroes were. Yeah. Well, I, I would, I would, I would make the argument that Messi is actually the David character in typical like hero stories. Like oh, it is yeah. the guy who's smaller. He's he's yeah. uh, where Ronaldo is the Goliath. Or yes. Ronaldo, yeah. yeah. Or the Gaston. Is, yeah. yeah. So it's like he's the person in the the fairy tale that like that should be the, yeah. the the prince in the fairy tale that ends up not marrying the princess and then the the weak boy ends up kind of proving that he is the yeah. you know the true suitor. Yeah, whatever. it's crazy. Yeah. I'm just curious if it's a good investment for Al Nasir. So like the amount that they spent, how would they justify that? Would it just be through oh, shit. like brand recognition to Saudi? Would it be through like jersey sales? Would it like I saw their Instagram followers, I think they got like five million overnight. Yep. From like the announcement. Yep. So I'm like, even those stats alone, I wonder if that would be beneficial for them. Even like st streaming rights, like how much value does a player like that? So, bring? so here are the things. One, Saudi Arabia doesn't give a flying fuck about making money on any of these other endeavors. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is all marketing. Mm -hmm. Come to Saudi Arabia. <clears throat> We're gonna run out of oil eventually. We need to prove to you that there's some shit here besides oil derricks and Mecca. <laughs> because I think the average person in the world just goes, I think all Saudi Arabia has is oil derricks and Mecca. Yeah. So, oh, well, we have a whole football league. I didn't even know Saudi Arabia had a football league. I didn't league. know until Ronaldo. Yeah. yeah. So uh, Saudi Arabia just built this hotel, the uh, Habitats or something like that. It's near Jordan and a part of Saudi Arabia. It's similar to Jordan. The, 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 the geology looks just like Jordan. It's like built within these like crazy like rock structures. And they just spent like 10 times what another hotel, another Habitats hotel would ever spend. And it's simply just to draw tourists out there to mm. prove that they have more than yeah. oil derricks and Mecca. They're building the whole, oh, the lines. It's like Wadi Rum and you go, Exactly. There, it's They're like, building the Lion City for the yeah. same reason, right? The Lion City, exactly. Yeah. So all these things are like marketing. How can we become like this global global city? And how can we shed a little bit of the, repre the, the representation and of the uh, reputation, the stigma that we already have, which is like, hey, women can't drive. Everybody, you know, burkered up to here. Khashoggi? Khashoggi. Mm. Like, That's $100 million uh, right there. <laughs> there so if the world is watching... <clears throat> 
Saudi football games. Not the world, but like, you know, the Ronaldo fans are watching Saudi football fans. Maybe they want to go to Saudi to watch a football fan. Now there's an excuse. Now there's an excuse to travel a little bit. Right. Like, and people will go do that. Yeah. They're Ronaldo fans. Like, dude, if Michael Jordan was playing in another fucking country, you don't think that Michael Jordan fans would go there and watch a game? Mm -hmm. 100%. So will they make back the $275 million, like, dollar per dollar? I don't know. But is there a... It is an infinite amount of money that is returned from viewing Saudi Arabia as more than just those two things. Yeah. Right. And all these oil-rich Middle Eastern companies are now investing in other things because they know the oil's time is limited. Mm -hmm. So their money from all the oil is making money. Even when oil dries up, it's going to be, do whatever the word is, diversified into so many things, they're always going to have, like, infinite money. Yeah. So I can pay $75 million. Who gives a fuck? If it gives me good PR. Yeah. That golf league, I don't think they're making money on that. Oh, yeah, the Live Golf The Live Golf another one. They're just throwing crazy bread at it. See us differently. See yeah. us as yeah. you. That big, hey, the, that Western. term everyone's using is sports washing. Sports washing. Did you yes, hear about yes, this? Yes, 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 uh, yes, yes, like yes. money laundering, but through sports? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, uh, like you yeah. can clean up the reputation of your country through having some big sporting event, Olympics, uh, okay. whatever yeah. else. Yeah. But this is, I saw this is funny. This is the coach of Al Nasir that basically was like, Cristiano, I wanted to bring Messi first. And as like a joke Fuck. during the press conference. Oh. And he was like, ah, I'm just joking. But it's like, the fact that he's even bringing it up is like another nail in the coffin. Oh, that's like boy. fucking up his reputation, his legacy. Wow. Again, I think his legacy is going to be whatever, top five ever or whatever it is. It's not going to be that hurt in the long run. But if right now, yeah, this has been, it was. But to go from one to five. Yeah. That's not great. Yeah. You know? You don't think he'll be two? I I think we, Bob, we I know. no, Pele and then, uh. Well, Mariana I mean, and if, then if, you're, if you're going off of World Cups, it's Pele. Yeah. Pele has three World Cups. Yeah. That's the most remarkable competitive it's feat insane. I've ever seen in the history of sports. Three World Cups? Yeah. You're the best player on the team for all three? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Doesn't you say both have like three? 12 years in a row. Three goals in the 100 meter dash. Which is also, yeah. pretty fucking, also pretty fucking yeah, crazy. crazy. But what Isn't doesn't that impress. like saying Julius Irving with. 11 or how many he has? No, Bill Russell. No, no Bill oh, Russell. Russell, yeah. So yeah, the thing about Bill Russell is far fewer teams. I don't need, I think they, I think black people like weren't even playing in the NBA. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I'm not trying to diminish what he did. He's the greatest winner in the history of basketball. There's no doubt. But, but for me, one person affects a soccer match much less than one person affects a basketball game. And the fact that he could be the best player on the team for three World Cups and win three, mm. that's a 12-year period. Mm. Like, that's nuts Yeah, it's crazy. So it's I can insane. understand why people make that argument. <clears throat> then there's the Maradona argument. But like so nobody's coming close to him. What's the next, I mean, does, it, does anybody else have two? No. World Cups? Oh, maybe, I don't know. I think Ronaldo, I actually know. No. no. O, the OG Ronaldo. Oh. I'm a look. They Mbappe, Mbappe almost had it. Thierry Henry be hating on <laughs> new Ronaldo. He goes, there's only one Ronaldo. <laughs> <laughs> and that motherfucker Ronaldo in Brazil was nice, bro. Yeah. I completely forgot about him. Oh, no. He's... Yeah. Baldwin, savage. right? Well, he had that little patch in the front. Remember? Uh, he did yeah, that? yeah, yeah. But, um, but, yeah. So what do you think happens in, like, his first league or his first season with the league? Who, Ronaldo? Yeah. I mean, I think that he'll play incredibly well and he'll... You know, score and he'll do everything that they want him to do. Will it be that relevant though? And this is different, probably. But Beckham came, came to LA. I remember the Galaxy. I lived in LA at the time. Huge deal. Mm -hmm. But very quickly, we stopped giving a fuck. I yeah. mean, very quickly. Mm. And I, even if he was good, I don't know. Did they win a champion MLS Cup? I don't know. Globally, his relevance maintained just through his marriage and his ads or whatever. But could Ronaldo's relevance decrease, especially as a soccer player? Yeah, I, I was thinking that because like Andreas Iniesta. One of the greatest players ever, played for Barca forever, played with Messi, like fucking one of the best like center mids ever. Now is playing in a Japanese league. And I didn't even know he was playing in a Japanese yeah, league. Yeah, he got like 30 million or something like that. Yeah, so it was great money to go and play this Japanese, but I was like, I've never seen a highlight also, from the it. Japanese would love his game. <laughs> like, that, that is the perfect player to go play in Japan. Yeah. Yeah, just pure technical yeah, perfect. greatness. Like yeah. they don't want Ronaldo jumping around and flashy. Head he's just like hard worker. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just gets yeah. it done. Yeah, but yeah. I'm like, yeah, I I haven't seen any highlights from him playing in Japan. I haven't seen anything come out. I thought from he retired. Him. Yeah, I thought he retired also. I just yeah. don't remember what happened to him. I just got sad about this. Like whenever I guess it's 75 million, but whenever an NBA player is like playing in China, mm -hmm. it's always kind of sad. Like imagine fucking LeBron in six years playing in Tokyo. You'd be like, ah. 
It's just mm. painful to watch. Like yeah. Half a billion people well, live in little, the Middle East. They're going to watch it in, in Arabic. But, it's it's something but, to cheer on and say, okay, let's develop soccer more I'm sure more. it's a little different. Yeah. Please explain how. It's, it's, yeah. it's a little different because when an American player goes to a league abroad, they're not making the money that they would make. Fair enough, yeah. And when these guys go to leagues abroad, they're actually making more than they would make at the Premier League. I do league. think even if LeBron was getting $100 million from China, we'd be like, ugh. Come on. <laughs> I don't know about that. I, I, my, my, you ain't watching a game. Oh, I'm not watching a single game. Yes, but, but I would watch a there game. Is LeBron a, against a bunch of Chinese dudes? That'd there, be fucking awesome. <laughs> but there is a number, though. That's interesting that you say that. Because if he's making like $10 million to go over there, I'm like, oof, man, he needs money. Something's wrong with him financially. But if he was making 275 or whatever the fucking amount was announced yeah. with this Cristiano deal, like if he was making money that he was never even close to making per year playing in, with the Lakers or something like that, I'd be like, okay, I can see why you do that. And I think LeBron would. I think LeBron would go to China and play for $275 million a year. Yeah. In a heartbeat. Yeah, he'll, he'll do that. Yeah, but that's still, we're still going to be like, ah, he just went there for the money. Like, we're not looking at you like, ah, you still got it. Or I don't feel mm. bad for him. And for sure, your relevance has gone down. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. If no one's talking about you, no one's talking. Yeah. About you. Listen, the point I'm trying to make is if you're willing to bet on these games, if you're gambling on these Ronaldo games, okay. Yeah. Just say bet. Um, all you got to do is you got to go to betonline.ag. Mm -hmm. Okay? Use promo code flagrant? Use promo code flagrant, and then they're going to match your initial deposit bonus up to $1,000. So that means you put in $1,000, you get $500 extra to bet on Ronaldo. I got a feeling that Ronaldo's team's going to win. They're going to match 50% up to $1,000. Yeah, yeah, 50%. Okay? So you put $1,000, you get that $500. Okay? So I have a feeling if you put the money on Ronaldo's team, I have a feeling that Saudi Arabia is not going to let this massive investment in Ronaldo flop. His team has to win. They have to win the championship. They have to. They must. Let's see what happens. I think Dove brings up a good point. You're talking about the Middle East. All those countries are probably getting those Saudi league games. Everybody's watching Cristiano now. By mm. far the biggest, most marquee player in that region. Mm. So now the Saudi league becomes the most dominant league in the Middle East yep. and Africa. Yeah. Not Might a bad, be a good investment. Not a bad investment. That's how it starts. Anyway, okay. Let's talk about some vacations. All right, guys, we're gonna take a break for a second because I gotta make sure you're getting all your nutrients, okay? I gotta make sure you're getting all your vitamins, minerals, whole food source, superfoods, probiotics, and adaptogens. And that seems like a lot of things. And you're like, I don't wanna take 50 different pills to get all that. I don't blame you. I wouldn't wanna take that either. And you know what? I don't. I just take Athletic Greens, the AG1, the best option for easy, optimal nutrition out there. You take one scoop of AG1 and you're absorbing 75 high quality vitamins, minerals, and all the other things that I just said. Let me tell you something, sustainable routines are key. AG1, this is my daily micro habit, okay? Makes it easy to absorb the key nutrients and lead a healthy lifestyle and feel my best no matter what the day holds. One scoop, one minute, once a day. Every single day, I start my day, I know I've done something good for my body immediately, in the beginning of the day. You will see the effects. And right now, it's time for you to reclaim your health and arm your immune system, especially we're in winter. Listen, daily nutrition is key for that. It's just one scoop and some water every single day. That's it. No need for a million different pills and supplements to look out for your health. So to make it easy, Athletic Greens is gonna give you a free one-year supply of immune-supporting vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. All you have to do is visit athleticgreens.com slash flagrant. Again, that is athleticgreens.com slash flagrant to take ownership over your health and pick up the ultimate daily nutritional insurance. Now let's get back to the show. All right, guys, we're gonna take a break for a second because uh, I really need to tell y'all about the best Best bongs in the business, okay? It's the freeze pipe. The freeze pipe has got your back. Look at these beautiful things. Miles is gonna insert some gorgeous pictures right here so you can see these glycerin chambers glistening in the sun. Maybe add some sun in these pictures, Miles, so it goes with what I'm saying. I'm telling you, best way if you're gonna smoke weed, not only aesthetically is the best, it actually feels the best because you freeze up them glycerin chambers. By the way, that glycerin is not gonna freeze, just gonna make it extra cool and them smoke hits your lungs so you're not coughing and embarrassing yourself. With the date that you asked over to your apartment to smoke a little weed before you get the, get the things rocking, if you will, okay? This is the bong that you want to pull out. You want to want to pull out some nasty nonsense from college, got cobwebs and Scooby-Doo all over it. You want something beautiful, pristine, a work of art like 
this, okay? I'm telling you right now, you pop one of these glycerin chambers in the freezer for an hour, and as the smoke passes through that icy chamber, it's instantly cooled for a dramatically smooth and chilly toke. You'll notice larger clouds, but surprisingly won't feel any throat burn or coughing attacks. So listen up. For the smoothest glass pieces at everyday great prices, go to thefreezepipe.com. Use the code FLAGRANT for 15% off your order. That's thefreezepipe.com, and the code is FLAGRANT for 15% off your order. Shop today. Your throat and lungs will thank you. Now let's get back to the show. Also, guys, dates real quick. January 14th, again, I'm at the Wilbur. Last I checked, there were just over, I think, like 100 tickets left, so they're going to sell out. You need to hurry up and buy. Hurry, hurry up and buy. I'm not going to do the accent because that's offensive, but hurry up and buy. February 9th through 11th, I'm going to be at the Punchline in Sacramento. Also, I forgot a date, January 21st and 22nd, I'm going to be in Vegas at the Virgin Hotels. Andrew pointed out that is very fitting for me. That's a very fitting venue. And March 9th through 11th, I'm coming back to Miami, Miami. I'm going to get this tan back, hopefully. So get your tickets at akashsing.com. Now let's get back to the show. All right, guys, we're back. Uh, listen, we all went on vacation. We all went on a long oh, yeah. vacation. Everybody went on vacation, I think, except Alex. Mm -hmm. um, did you guys have a good time? I had a great time. Amazing time. Yeah. The best. And I had an amazing time. You did, even yeah. though you were staying here working. Yeah, well, it wasn't all work. I had a lot of family time, hung out with friends, and I also got some work done. This is what he said he was doing. Remember when he was guilt tripping yeah. us because he's going to hang out with his mom? That's right. Yeah, That's what right. you should do on New Year's, but I'm, it's, it's fine. On New Year's, you should hang out with your mom? Yeah. Holidays, you should, you should be with Every you. New Year's? You spend New Year's with your mom? Yeah. I think yeah. New Year's might 12. be the... We do the 12 grave situation, and then I go out and party. Oh, really? Ah. Huh. You always spend New Year's with your mom? Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh, they do 12 grapes. That's yeah. weird. <laughs> That's so weird. <laughs> <laughs> now, nah, New Year's Eve, the family's lit. Yeah, I, know. I didn't do it, but good yeah. for you. Yeah. The fact that your mom stays up to 12 is fascinating. That's amazing. Yeah, so one day a year we do nah, it. my mom's I asleep. Can, I can give her one day. You know? <laughs> yeah. Try some Yeah, I don't know about all that, man. <laughs> Uh, yeah, 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 New Year's. You don't want to do New Year's with your parents, dude? No, I haven't done New Year's with my parents. I don't think I've ever spent a New Year's with my parents. Really? You yeah. don't even do Christmas with your family. That's fascinating. No, like a little bit, but yeah, we're not the big holiday type. Yeah. Were you ever as kids? I mean, I liked Christmas. Christmas was always really fun, but there was... But at what point did you just tell your family, like, yo, we don't do Christmas together anymore? No, we were like... <laughs> that's, that's just weird. He doesn't even have to travel for it. Like yeah. other people, like, go through those... <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Go through that he travels snow. away. Thanksgiving and Christmas. Everyone hates yeah. traveling during the holidays, and you go, oh, I'm going to do that. I can't even... Yeah. I can't wait to do that. not seeing my family on Christmas. Oh, yeah. That, that just wouldn't work. I mean, I had dinner with my family every single day of the week. Every single day of the week, my whole life. So think about that. We got a lot of family time in. Yeah. It wasn't like we That's put- people. What, what, do you, what makes you unique about that? Living with yeah, your- You said I live with my family, right? Like we hung out together- We split the rent for literally- Every day until I went to college. I almost let that just fly. I was like, oh, okay. Well, I, mean, <laughs> you I didn't do that. You didn't we didn't do, do that. dinner time at the table, but we would still be at home together. No, but that's like, totally different. And, and you didn't. You did when your when your when your pops was in town. Obviously, yeah, yeah. he was living in other places. Yeah, as but well. the whole family we do dinner a lot. But it's like not everybody has the ability to do that. Like Dove's family, obviously, because of divorce, it was harder for you guys to like all. Why you no. thought everybody? Yeah, he's yeah, 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 right. he's got daggers. What is that? But what about Akash? Do Akash? Oh, no, do him. 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 My divorced parents. We all eat together. Chill. Today, obviously, you guys do. But talk about Akash's shitty family. Talk about them. Trying to explain. <laughs> to Akash is how rare his situation was. And a lot of times with holidays, you bring family together that's not even really together. Mm -hmm. So you, for Christmas, it's like, hey, listen, both parents are going to stomach this shit. It's good for the kids to be around each other. Let's go do this. Thanksgiving, the family doesn't fucking like each other. Let's just kind of go do it, whatever. You had a very unique situation where, and so did I, where we got to eat dinner every single night with our family. You eat dinner every single night with your family? I don't know <laughs> if I buy that. No. I think your parents are working or something no, like that. No, I didn't eat dinner every single night with my family, but like, you're still Lisa. hanging out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I know. My dad got drunk and went to sleep. This is what happened. You fucking weirdo. Why are you bringing up everybody's trauma so, so you can look like less shitty of a son? What's that? Yeah. My point is, you needed the holidays. We didn't. Why? So my dad could get drunk earlier on Christmas? So you what the fuck are you talking about? So your parents could pretend to like be a good They don't pretend. Yeah, I mean, like, 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 my parents were actually, you know, good parents, you know? Oh my God, dude. Wow. Hey, way to pay him back. For it, dude. <laughs> I know, right? They don't have to. The price is in pain. <laughs> the, point that I'm trying to say is, the point that I'm trying to say is a very rare thing, so we didn't have to put as much value on those times. 
Yeah. I don't think. Yo, your spin is crazy. Is house, <laughs> son, you built this shit on a house of cards. This is a shaky I'm you, ass it's argument. It's not a big deal. Like holidays were not a big deal in my family. We did the whole thing, the fucking cookies and that kind of shit. My parents put out the presents, and it's like, okay, once we're old enough, all right, we got the presents. I want this. Okay, boom, dad. What do you want? I don't care. You know, we get him a tie. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dad, dad's gonna fuck over every I think you're describing Christmas. most families that still go home for the holidays. Also, you live in New York. Mm -hmm. It's a walk from your place to your parents' place. Short like, walk. Like legitimately, Short I've walk. made the walk. <laughs> it's a walk, and you're like, no. yo, uh, I'm in tea. I get to spend time with my family. <laughs> oh, Sorry. who am I? That's you can't walk, right. son. No, no, you're, you're 100. I, I mean, look, I'll be honest. I would never like leave this state where my family's from. Like, that, that is like you have to be an absolute animal of a human being for your like family to like raise you. Yeah, where'd you go to uh, college again? Do you know what I mean? Uh, that was for college. That's <laughs> just to learn to like, yeah. further my life. Education, and, you know, yeah. my education. And, you know, to be, uh, well, come an adult, really. But like to actually like just willingly move to like be a clown. Like I to know. move. I know. Like, you move states I to know. be a clown. I like, save this clip. Save this clip. Save this clip. Yeah, save this, this clip. Yeah, save <laughs> this clip. Tuck this clip Imagine away. Like, tuck this clip Imagine away, baby. Next Listen. winter, when he's outside, he's freezing. <laughs> I only am willing to leave now because my dad's memory is gone. But if my dad, <laughs> if my dad's memory wasn't gone, I would never leave him. You got a <laughs> mom? Like, <laughs> like, like, she better learn to forget. She better learn to forget. <laughs> no, my folks gotta come with me wherever we go. <laughs> my fucking folks, my brother, it's the whole thing. That's perfect. Yeah. That'd be great. But yeah, for so real. You can I don't know why you did holidays that. in the same city. <laughs> as long as we're in the same city, if anything goes wrong. Okay. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? All right. Like, I actually care about my family. Yeah, no, you do. <laughs> do you know what I mean? There's like, one thing I know about you. Yeah, I fucking care. Yeah. Like, I know you, you go back. How often do you go back? Four times a year ish. Oh, wow. Yeah. Quarterly. Yeah. And did you go back this year or? I did not go back this year. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Where'd you go? Yo, where my wife told me to go. <laughs> That's your family now. That's yeah. family now. Yeah. Why didn't you go back? You had plenty of time to go back and money. Typically, we do Christmas <laughs> with her family, Thanksgiving with mine. And then? What do you mean? So what happened? Oh, that was vetoed. We're not going. We already went Thanksgiving. Spent five days. My wife spent five days in a two-bedroom apartment with my folks. And my folks are a lot. I block out all the arguing, but, like, it's a lot. To be like, okay, we're going to go do that again. Christmas, let's go. I mean, that's very reasonable. He's looking for it. I know, he's looking for it, and <laughs> there was no holes in that. No, you already spent some time with them. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's not, no, no, that's no, not no. that bad. But I mean, he's married, so there's two families, so he spent one holiday with one family. Yeah, I think that's fine. Yeah. yeah. So you spent some time this year with your parents, yeah. and then you were going to spend some time with her parents this year as well. Yeah. But why is that wrong? <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, the way that you presented it was like the, <laughs> it was vetoed. I'm like, that sounds oh, perfect. Here comes a fight. Oh, I yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you said I, you I would be willing to go home. Early on, it was like, I want to go home Thanksgiving and Christmas. And she was like, I'm not going both, which is valid. Yeah, I mean, I mean, have that, that, yeah you have to split that up. Yeah. That's or you a, do one year this, one year. Yeah. That's one year a, yours, one year theirs. That's a marriage thing that I wasn't prepared for, prepared for somehow. Mm -hmm. It makes the most sense. But I was like, no, we're going to go see my folks both out. Like, come on. <laughs> this is what I do. You really thought that? I'm an idiot. <laughs> yeah. Of course I thought that. Okay. Dude, is it a surprise? I don't know things about women. Is that a surprise? <laughs> I don't know things about relationships. Uh, fair shocker. enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Okay. Um, I, I I hope you go see them more. I mean, me too. I'm going to make an effort. <laughs> yeah, you and should make you an what? effort. You should make an effort. Well, I tell you what, when we're together, we're going to be together. Not, uh, hey, I'm going to walk by your house on Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> on my way to get a fucking latte at Starbucks. <laughs> I mean, isn't it so much worse if you went there and just did that? What do you mean? Like, when you go home, you have to go stay with them. Yeah. Yeah, so it's not like you want to. I want to. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's a generational <laughs> flip happening. There's a generational flip. I'm just saying, you don't want to do it, you have to. I want to. You do? Yes. So why don't you go there more? <laughs> Again, I'm married, so you got to think about both of us. No, but not only for holidays, you can just go for any random yeah. weekend. Yeah, I go about four times a year, typically. Typically. How often do you go to Aruba? 
<sighs> Not this year at all, dude. Damn, Real fucking yeah. problem. But you go on a lot of vacations. <laughs> you take a few trips, yeah. Yeah, you could just go home instead. Yeah, you went to Morocco. You went all the way to Morocco and yeah. Burning Man. When you could have visited your family. You could have you know visited what? your family, Hey, dude. you're right. When you're at Morocco and Burning Man, <laughs> yeah. I'm not going. <laughs> yeah. You got it. But I do like doing that. I like going to those places instead of going to see my folks. <laughs> <laughs> I'll admit that. Like, yeah. I don't. But, but you're saying you would rather be with your folks yeah, yeah. than Aruba. No, I'm not Aruba. No, no, no. <laughs> so now you agree with me. Let's not get crazy. You agree with me, then. I'm saying you're in the same city. If you're home in New York, I'm not Christmas. an asshole like you and left the, my fucking family. I <laughs> stayed near my family. Why'd you leave your family? Yeah. Ah, uh, yes, job. You know, if your folks lived in Idaho, you left your where family you to be? make no money in LA. <laughs> I did, and then left again to make no money in New I York. Did. That's I did. what you did. This is the, the dream. Job? The no, dream. you left for a dream. Let's say the dream. Let's say the dream. Let's say the dream. Yo, come on, Let's bro. Hey, why'd you stay in New York? I didn't have to leave. I mean, you could save a lot of money, dude. Yeah, oh, I save oh, I save a lot of money. I used my parents. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You just bought yourself. Yeah, yeah so I just bought myself. Yeah. yeah. Um, no, no, I stayed here. <sighs> so you could ignore your How parents. How was your Christmas safety? breaks? Yeah, yeah. How was your Christmas? <laughs> How long is this shit gonna go? <laughs> I, yo, I live with my parents way longer than you ever did. <laughs> Fucking loser. Uh, yo, think about that. Uh, Dork? You ain't live with your parents till you're 30. No, that's true. Put in the time. That's true. <laughs> Put in the time, bro. That's true. That's so true. I don't want to hear nothing you from none of y'all. Yes. Yeah. Son, I was right next door helping them with all their fucking double clicks yeah. and shit. Lemonade. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I put in way more hours in my family than you have in your whole life. 100% guaranteed. I live with this no. guy. He didn't help his parents with I know. Don't. That's why I didn't. Nothing. I know. That, that was shit. such bullshit. Nothing. I never saw him go over there and help his folks with nothing. <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> you just passed by. That's that. entirely What's not true. What's up, Larry? That's entirely not true. That's, that's, that's entirely not true. Leading the witness. That is entirely <laughs> not true. I put way more time in my family than any of y'all. Y'all hated. <laughs> y'all, if y'all put as much time in as I did, you take some time off. I earned my hours. I did my hours. I got my 10,000 hours. Oh, it's off season. It's off season. It's my off season. Y'all need to put. This you sounds, is embarrassing. Like you love. is embarrassing. And you is embarrassing. That sounds like love right Y'all is embarrassing. Y'all need to get, put more time with your family. Oh, Live with them man. until you're 30. <laughs> what you need to do is move back in for 10 years. That's what I did. Yeah. Move back how in for 10 years. How was your fucking yeah, How was your vacation? That's what I want to know. This okay. guy's fucking skiing. You're doing okay. shit. Let's do it. Ready? What's up, everybody? Welcome to Flagrant. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Four, mi Four miles. spinning, dude. <laughs> Four miles. Okay, ready? Um, no, uh, how was uh, vacation? Yeah, how was Colombia? Well, first, how was Costa Rica? Uh, Costa Rica, Colombia. Uh, I got uh, food poisoning in both countries, and <laughs> I almost died surfing again. So it was a really good trip. How'd you wow. almost die? Yeah, yeah, we get a text, like, randomly in the middle of the night. Hey, what is that stuff you put in a wound to make it not get infected? <laughs> oh, yeah, that was also, and I cut up my foot. Yeah, I was that like, was bro, you have Google. Like, you that can... wasn't even from surfing. That was just from walking on rocks with my wife. <laughs> but uh, we went, yeah, the surfing thing was fucking, it was weird. So, um... I, on the flight down, uh, I, I I get this. I start thinking about this. is my first time. I went back in the ocean once. We've surfed a bunch in the wave pool. Shout yeah. out to Scoot and Surf. It's fucking awesome. Everybody go check out American Dream Mall. And uh, But uh, I, I went out surfing with Casey Neistat once when we were we went out to, like, the Rockaways. And then this is the first time I've been, like, surfing back and, like, you know, vacation, like, some real potential waves. So, like, I have, a, you know, since the, yeah. obviously, what happened in Hawaii. Oh, thank Can you. you feel that now that it's that thick? What that uh, water sweat? Whatever. It was just no. It was, that was boogers. That was boogers. Oh, so thank yeah. you for telling me about that. I had this all my. That was a while I had it. No, yeah, that was a whole. Episode. It was just started. We can restart. Um, we we'll restart. No, no, is it that? Is it that crazy? <laughs> all, all episodes, I didn't see it. Okay, so <clears throat> anyway, so uh, we go. I'm in Costa Rica. I'm in Santa Teresa, Costa Rica. Costa Rica. I go. We arrive that afternoon. I go right to the surf shop to go get my board. I go. They show me the board, and um, I. Check out the leash of the board, and I put on the, the the leash and the Velcro. It feels like worn. You know when Velcro feels like yeah. worn, feels yeah. like it falls off. And I tell the guy, and I'm like, "Hey, <coughs> um, is this leash kind of like off?" He's like, "Nah, it's not a big deal. Don't worry about it." I'm like, "Yeah, but look at the Velcro. It kind of feels off, right?" He goes, "Ah, but look, if you put it on all the way and then pull, it doesn't fall off." He put it on, pulls it, nothing. I'm like, "I, I don't feel comfortable." He walks away, and I'm like, "I don't want to be that fucking guy, but I'm feeling like yeah, a little yeah. like anxious." And I don't even want to bring this up, but like on the flight down, I had this weird fucking thought that like my leash was gonna break. 
Okay? So that's feeding into like my paranoia about this leash. And obviously we're going back in the ocean. There's like some fucking real waves. This is like, yeah, you know, this is wow, this is funny this. story. Okay. He's <laughs> telling a serious story, Al. Come on. So be respectful. I I'm about to leave the surf shop and I just go, fuck it. I'm like, dude, can I just have another leash? Oh wow. He goes, oh, he goes, good for you. Yeah, sure, get another leash. I go, okay, fine. Thank God. Get the other leash, put on the other leash. We'll go surfing that night. Everything's good. Had a fun surf session as the sun sets. Beautiful. Go out the next day. I'm surfing. Next day, it's fucking pretty big. I'm by myself out there. You know, there's other people also surfing, but I'm surfing by myself. So you think about it a little bit, but it's really nice, relaxing. The waves are kind of heavy. Like, it's it's a lot of fucking water moving. And um, I'm, a, I'm exhausted. Uh... And I'm like, okay, I got to go fucking, I'm going surfing. I wake up every morning, like six o'clock in the morning. And I'm like exhausted. I've been surfing for a few hours and I'm trying to paddle. And I realize I'm caught in a little riptide. And a riptide basically is like when water is funneling back out to the ocean. So there's this, this flow of water back out of the ocean and you can't paddle against it. So what you do is you paddle across uh, yeah. to the side, <clears throat> yeah. right? And you can see the riptide. You can feel it. You just cannot paddle, paddle against it. So I'm like, okay, let me just fucking paddle across and get the hell out of here. But I'm absolutely fucking exhausted. All of a sudden, I'm paddling across and a set comes in. And I'm like, oh, I'll take this wave. I paddle, get the wave, ride the wave, ride the wave, try to do a little maneuver, fall off my board. Everything's fine. I get up. I'm still in the fucking riptide. And uh, another wave is coming. And I dive under that wave. And I feel this tug on my board, right? Oh, shit. And then all of a sudden, there's no tug at all. And my leg is really free. Mm. And I pop up and I stick my leg out and the leash is snapped. Not the Velcro went off. Oh, fuck. The fucking rubber (laughs) of the leash. I've never happened to me the entire time that I've gone surfing. I've been surfing since I was a child. Mm. The rubber snapped. I'm in a riptide and I'm exhausted. Yeah. Okay? The board is in front of me paddling into the riptide. Mm. Okay? I go, and I'm sitting here, and I'm thinking like a million miles a second. I go, okay, I probably have enough energy to paddle to that board. But if a wave takes that board away before I get there, now I don't have enough energy to paddle out of this riptide, and I'm just getting sucked out to sea. Mm. Yeah. I go, fuck it. I paddle my ass off for the fucking board. And I see the board. It's maybe 20 feet in front of me. I'm paddling against this riptide. Granted, the board is also in the riptide, so it's not moving that much further away from me. I'm paddling my fucking ass off. All of a sudden, a wave comes from behind me. I'm like, for Alex, to me right here, is the board. Wave comes, covers me, takes the board. I pop up again. It's maybe by the TV. Thank God the wave didn't take it too far. Mm-hmm. I paddle get on the board and am able to get a fucking uh, wave in and then go in. Exhausted? Exhausted. And I look at the fucking leash and there are these little cuts on the leash, the one that was switched to. I'm like, how the fuck would those cuts be on the leash? Shark. Imagine, no. You ever notice what people do with leashes on surfboards? They wrap them around Uh. the fins. The boards are left out in the sun baking and it melts mm. the leash a little, which is rubber. And that softness creates a little bit of a fray that then is pressed up against wow. the fins that kind of cut it. Crazy. Fucked up that I had that thought that I was going to snap the leash and then the fucking thing snapped. Damn. Crazy, right? Yeah, that's wild. You had, did the same thing about Burning Man. Do you remember that? No, what is it? We were on the way to Burning Man and you're like, bro, I just have this bad feeling, dude. I just like, I like woke up in the middle of the night. There's a fucking like explosion. Like, it's like fucking crazy. I was like, yeah, we're at Burning Man. They're about to burn the thing. There's going to be an explosion. And you were like, yeah, it's just weird. And then all of a sudden we're sitting in the RV. Oh, fuck. And then the back of the RV explodes. Yeah, the propane oh, tank. Yeah. Literally the propane tank like creates this oh, giant like crater in the <laughs> earth. I did have that. Yeah. <laughs> but he said it before. That was the weird part. He was like, bro, I just knew some, something was going to happen. I was like, well, this wasn't an explosion. I had a nightmare about that It was that just shit. air or something that leaked out. It's, he's going to be psychic Chelsea from now on. That's what I'm <laughs> so, saying. Like, I had premonitions, bro. <laughs> no, I, had, no, I didn't have no, any no, premonitions about my it. food poison that I was going to get in both fucking countries. Yeah, why did you I think of that? That affected you probably way worse. I don't than know, but I can't tired. do it. I, I can't do it being anymore. Being tired in the ocean. Can't dude. do what? He's a weak man. So, <laughs> had you have stayed with the original leash, <laughs> that probably would have oh, yeah. That's the craziness of it. No. So, you so what's the lesson? That's what's crazy. the lesson from Allah? What is Allah trying to tell you? Allah says is uh, be grateful for what you have. Wow. Mm. Be grateful for what you have. That's deep. That's but deep. as far as like uh, the food goes, I listen, I love other countries. I love traveling. I love all that shit, but like, 
No. Amon's only for him. No, it's okay. not about being, it's, it's the food. <laughs> I'm not built for it. What'd you eat? The food. <laughs> but like hot food? The food. And we were in a group of, now skip over to Columbia. Oh, we yeah. were in a group of eight to 10 the entire trip. Yeah. <laughs> well, everyone else probably got sick, right? Only Nobody else got sick. Just me and my wife got sick. Mm. But I ate- At least some- I got sick together. That's decent. Yeah, 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 but it still sucks. I mean, great, even- great trip over there, right? Oh, dude, yeah. Costa Rica was great. I mean, Colombia was fucking great. Dude, Costa Rica is fascinating <clears throat> fucking place. Like, there's no military, mm-hmm. like, at all, right? And uh, it's a really interesting place because it's the only country in Central America and maybe even South America that has, like, almost no cartel presence. Mm. And you're like, why not? Why does this place have no cartel presence? And I think it's a couple of reasons. One, there's no military. In like 1950s, they're like, yeah, we're not doing that shit. America's got our back. They're not gonna let us get taken over by like El Salvador, Nicaragua. Like that's a proxy war with Russia. They got us. And then two, um, so there's no, they basically invested, they basically tried not to lure nighttime tourists. Huh. If you try to lure nighttime tourists, <clears throat> They need drugs. Yeah. Once there's drugs, hmm. there's somebody to service the drugs, which is the cartels. And once there's cartels, there's violence and then danger everywhere. I think this is the area you were at because they have the other part of Costa Rica that's like the resorts, casinos, a lot of prostitution. There's a and lot there's of sex work. Cartel. There's a lot of sex work, and there's no doubt that there is. But compared to every other yeah, Honduras, like, 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 like you, there are parts of Mexico that are not under control of the government. They're under the control of oh, the cartel. Yes. There's parts of Honduras. There are parts of El Salvador that are under the control of the gangs. Like they just run it. And I think also because it falls south of Colombia, so it's like. Well, no, no, it's north. Oh, Costa Rica is north. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, so, sorry. yeah, yeah. So it's like I, I think it's simply they just invested in like daytime activities. Come here, do yoga. Do there are parts that have a lot of sex trafficking and that kind of shit. And naturally, you see it formed around that. But a lot of these communities are built around like yoga, exploration, yeah, surf, zip, surf, zip line, zip feed a monkey, go like, to the jungle, yeah. do these types of things. And was, if I'm like developing country, I was amazed when I was there that like most people spoke like four languages. Oh and shit! I was like, they yeah. put all their money that they would have spent in the military. They put that shit in healthcare and education. Yep. Uh, so, so a lot of them speak English. Like it's yeah. a yeah. healthy. And also another thing is like, even if you were going to try it, I've never seen a country that is so dense in terms of jungle. Even if you wanted to invade it, <laughs> good luck. <Yeah. laughs> they don't need a military. It's called the trees. Yeah. Yeah. It's, you know how we see Russia invading the Ukraine. There's just this nice paved road where you take <laughs> the fucking tanks down and that's how you get into Ukraine. You can't. Yeah. Like, Costa Rica is like a bunch of little pockets of communities that were kind of carved out of the jungle themselves, and they just kind of exist on their own. Yeah. Like, even this place that I was in, Santa Teresa, it was just like a bunch of Israelis, uh, a bunch of Israelis and Argentines just went there and, like, started this this town. And, like, it's loosely connected with a municipality that's, like, a little part away, but it's kind of like their own. Mm-hmm. And it's just like, you can do that in Costa Rica. It's the, it, it, this is what Santa Teresa was. It was like the closest thing to being untouched while at the same time you can have like an amazing sushi dinner. Yeah. Like you're on an ATV <clears throat> and crossing rivers. Like I crossed rivers in an ATV. That's it felt wild. like some fucking Yellowstone shit. Mm. Yeah. Like it was fire. <laughs> right, right, right. And then later that night I'm having like an Italian style pizza. Yeah. In like a restaurant. Yeah. And that is rare. Like, I would invest in Costa Rica. Like, Costa Rica's fire. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, just, like, really cool. Surfing, the surf was so fucking consistent. And, like, yeah. I, so, I, so then how was that going from, like, naturally beautiful, awesome Costa Rica to then going to Cartagena? Listen, Carmen. I got a shout-out to Luis. Luis took care of us. Your boy Luis, he was fucking unbelievable. <clears throat> like, the most, like, when you imagine... Like a Latin, uh, what is it called? Like when they take care of you when you come, no. what is that called? Hospitality. Hospitality. Like it was that times a million. Like the guy gave us one of his security guards. He's booking everything for, I mean, it was the most, I've never been welcomed in such a way in my entire life. It was absolutely amazing. Um, Colombia is fascinating because it is the most inefficient place I've ever been in my entire life. <laughs> like, you you have to ask for the bill minimum four times before you get the bill. Yeah. Like, you can, can I have the bill? Oh, yeah, yeah. Then they just go. <laughs> four times. before It's like, do you want me to pay you? Like do, like, do you want? And then when you're paying for something at the register, the thing to charge the card is never there. And they're never shocked about that. <laughs> like, you think you just leave one by the register, but you're like, I'll just pay with the card. And they go, 
Oh, I don't know. Let me go to the country. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, like somebody could go to that country and just organize it real quick, and it would be a fucking superpower. Yeah. But there's no urgency whatsoever. <laughs> I mean, it's just like the most the most efficient people are the people trying to sell you like Maracas on the streets. Yeah. And I found out they're not even trying to sell you Maracas. The Maracas are a front to sell you Coke. Oh, So hilarious. they come up, they're like, you want Maraca, Maraca, Maraca? Yeah, I really got the cocaine. I don't give a fuck about this Coke Maraca. Tussie. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. It was all, uh, anybody uh, selling you anything on the street out there? is selling you <laughs> cocaine. That's, that's what it's all, uh, that's what all about. But it was, it was really cool. We had a great time. Great you have time. a good time? And then I got sick, of course, because my stomach. His, his girl was sick the day before, powered through lunch. You could tell, I mean, she was gray, green, but just a trooper. This guy gets dressed up for <laughs> New Year's, get to this, it's like a, a big I was already property, sick. a really elaborate New Year's Eve. 11.30 p.m., the guy couldn't muster it out. Miles, you're going to insert that photo of this is what he looks like oh, I was right here, 30 minutes before broken. New Year's. said... We gotta go. And the two of them. Yeah, tipped. I left. I left at 11 30. 11 30. Where'd you celebrate New Year's? Uh, I, we walked out of a cab. <laughs> uh, entering the old city oh, of Cartagena. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 so, yeah. what was it? Is it just liquid? Just coming out liquid? I, I, or what? No, no, no. It wasn't even shitting or anything like that. It was just like absolute exhaustion. Same thing happened to me when I was in Costa Rica. Just abs- I just ate something. It's my, this is FDA. This is, this is what I was telling everybody here. <laughs> FDA, I need FDA. You don't get in here unless you're FDA. Yeah, That's yeah, the yeah. new thing. I don't need to like- You be shitting crazy here too. Yeah, yeah, but I, I'm good. <laughs> like, that's, with this FDA, is the beauty. Think about that. Listen, they, not enough respect goes on FDA. If it's FDA, <laughs> oh, really? oh, you donh don't get God. sick. And the beauty of that is that there's even food that they deem not food, right? Like they, yeah. they looked at like even the, the Subway bread. They're like, this is yoga mats, right? But like, <laughs> it don't make you sick. Yeah. yeah, you can so, eat it. It's not food. Exa- but you can when eat I go it. have food in other countries, yeah, I get yeah. sick. Yeah. Why is it when I have yoga mats, I don't get sick? Yeah. Because this is FDA food you can't eat. You've all always yeah. eaten it McDonald's. It kills you later. You Ju- Yellow number five kills you much later. We don't know that for a fact. We don't know that for the a fact. The vaccine's FDA approved. But th- 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 we don't know that for a fact. <laughs> oh, and also, it wasn't the FDA approved. They were kind of bullied into yeah. doing that kind of stuff. They didn't. They, the FDA would never approve that initially. <laughs> but they were bullied. But the FDA, if you eat FDA, you don't get sick. I don't know what else will happen to you, but you don't get sick. Facts. Mm, it's, it's FDA. Right. I need FDA. You might get preserved from the inside and then eventually just, <laughs> maybe, maybe just that happens. fall over somewhere. <laughs> maybe that happens, yeah, yeah. but I won't get sick. Get mummified. Dig up any American. I think they're mummified. I think they're perfectly mummified. What, the inside of the stomach? Yeah, I think just all Americans, yeah, right now. We love mummies. <laughs> Nobody was ever upset when they found a mummy, right? They're like yeah. really excited. They're like, wow, you can see the teeth. Yeah, this yeah. is teeth from yeah. 10,000 years That's ago. That's true. That's true. This is FDA. <laughs> and I had enough of the people saying like, oh, the food isn't real in America, whatever like that. It doesn't matter. Mm. It works. Mm. And my stomach doesn't work out there. Uh, it, and I like it doesn't work. It's like, it's like Europe foods. is not like that. Say again? In Europe it they have like FDA. That? <laughs> yeah, yeah. They have more strict FDA. Yeah, the really? French drug. Oh, yeah, their, 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 their shit is better. Oh. They have FDA. There's no FDA when uh, your fucking yeah, Colombian grandma's pit America. sweat is dripping all over my rapist. Yeah. I don't need that. <laughs> we need I need <laughs> FDA. Yeah. Because <laughs> FDA don't play that shit. Fake yeah. boobs. It's not real, but it's better. There it is. Yep. I'm t- and listen, I understand there are some limitations with the FDA. And they do be fucking shit up by making it healthy for you. But what make it healthy for you? What do you mean? For example, they will not allow your shit to go bad. Ah. Uh, okay, so the FDA goes, I don't want none of this shit spoiling. If it's spoiled, it got to get off the shelves. So what do the companies do? They put all these preservatives in the food to make it not spoil. Mm-hmm. But the FDA was right. Yep. The FDA's trying to protect us. Yes. It's the companies putting the crazy shit in so it don't get spoiled. Yes. Sure. FDA, never, you never go wrong with FDA. <laughs> what about kosher? Why can't you do kosher? Say again? Is, is it FDA? Well, some, yeah. I'll do kosher FDA. Was Oxycontin FDA approved? Yeah, yeah. But does it stop your pain? But it, <laughs> does but it stop your pain it, it was or does the it make you sick? Yeah, it was the greedy doctors that did it. Though. Does it make you sick? I, I think it makes you sick in the end, yeah. No, it doesn't. Not taking it makes it sick. Thank you. Yep. You can't tell me one thing that's FDA that makes you sick. What about halal? You go to like a different country? Is like, it FDA? You went to Morocco, you got a halal. It wasn't FDA, but it was halal. There's it was, it was fucking clean. bugs all over the halal. <laughs> okay? There are. There's bugs there all were over it. That's not FDA. Bugs are FDA. Flies, what? Right? That's not FDA. How are you going to eat the inside of a chicken, but you won't eat a bug? Come on, bro. What do you mean? Bugs are the same? Why do you think a bug is going to ruin it, but the, you'll eat dead animal? 
What are you trying to say right now? Because I'm confused. I'm saying, you might be making a point. It might be me. I'm saying why, it might be me. I'm saying, why won't you? But it just, sounds like you're comparing insects to chickens. Yeah. I'm just saying. Meat is meat is what you he's saying. Oh, you think insects is meat? It's close to meat. Can you look up into the FDA and see if the insects <laughs> is meat? Because yeah. I'm pretty yeah. sure the insects ain't meat in What FDA? about FDA insects? Would you eat FDA insects? If the oh. FDA approves it, it's not... This is not like a like a passion project for me. <laughs> this is FDA. Okay. So it, you know what I'm saying? If it, if it's FDA, it can go in here. Yeah. And then everything's good. If it's not FDA, we're rolling the dice, and every time I roll the dice, I crap out. So what are you gonna eat when you go abroad now? Do they have an FDA? No. Some countries lot, have FDA. Not a lot of these places. In those countries, the cool I places. I will eat fast food. Uh. I will eat McDonald's. You can bring your places. own food. You can bring like bars or something. I might do that. Or I might find the most FDA type foods in those places. Mm -hmm. I was a wild boy. I'm eating street arepas. Well, this is was, not built for that. That was wild. Yeah, this is not built for that. Arepas are nah, not. Ah, they're the, the, the tacos, everything. It was great. All the, it was great. We food. had the same exact meal. Ten times in a row. Five nights in Colombia. Yeah. Lunch, dinner, lunch, dinner, ten times. Arepas, cold like vegetables, like whatever washed with the... Is Colombian water good? Because like in India, you're not eating anything that's not cooked. If it's washed, cold tomatoes even, I'm not eating it. But the only thing that we avoided cooked, was... But isn't that like crazy? Lettuce. Because they don't have FDA. But if they had FDA, you don't have to worry but about But someone that. in New York doesn't have FDA. I'm sorry, what L did you say? Little kids selling you stuff on the train, you think that's FDA? What are you talking about? Ooh. All those candies they Candy. sell you on the Halal. train for their soup, for Halal their sports team. Halal not FDA. Yeah. Yeah. Halal cart's not FDA. Some, some lady selling... Oh, I'm sorry! Some... Do you not see the letter outside to let you know what letter it is? <laughs> yeah. It says F. Of a cart? For FDA. This cart guy's cart. crazy. You're crazy. This guy's Carts absolutely crazy. Letters? Not only that, the cart food is more fresh because you can't keep old food on the cart. The shit you get that day is the shit that's cooked. Diner that's coffee? super FDA. You think diner coffee is FDA? Mark. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot eat. <laughs> I can't even. I can't wait to explain it. He's flabbergasted. Listen, first of all, Diner Coffee is absolutely FDA because Why? the grounds are FDA. You can't get the grounds in here. Where do you think they're getting them from? Mm. You think they're going to Kenya and they're throwing it in a backpack? No, but they got FDA, but then they got un FDA when they got put into a gross machine. I'm sorry. Things start FDA and then they become less FDA when they get un FDA. What is making the machine gross? Is hot water going through it, Mark? Yeah. What the fuck could happen with hot Some water? Some guy putting his hands there, he's trying to clean it, he's like fucking grabbing beans How and shit. How you gonna put your hands in the middle of a coffee You machine, put the Mark? bag in and the bag touches the inside, you get fucking you E. coli. Yeah, come on. Now nah, you get bacteria if hot you get water passes the thing and then sits there. Why do you gotta clean the coffee machine? Out? Why do you gotta clean it? That's no, nice... but if it stays hot, then the hey, listen, hot water is You get pneumonia. You know what? You get pneumonia. Y'all, y'all, y'all risk it on that. Okay. Okay. You don't have it, and I'm gonna take my risk on hot water cleaning shit. That's what I'm. Gonna do. I'm gonna roll the dice on hot water cleaning. Some what do you shit. think's in the repas, bro? That's hot water. No, it's not. That's, That's oil from some grandma's tit sweat. <laughs> That's Colombian grandma tit sweat. What the oil? From that is Colombian abuela tit sweat, yeah. and it's dripping all and over my wrist. Are you sure it's from the food? Because you didn't have any diarrhea, you didn't have any vomiting, you just felt I have sick. Have diarrhea today. That was Maybe you're in coming America. back eating FDA. Yeah. That's not true. When did you get back? I got back last night. I had one meal. Do you know yeah, what it was? That's the one that got you sick. But you don't even know what it was. What was it? You gotta make it up. <laughs> 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 no, I did. I had fucking um, chicken matzo ball soup, so it's them. Yeah, dude. Jeez. Oh, that'll do it too. Yeah, yeah, yeah you yeah. can't do that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, anyway, matzo, so matzo I can't fuck over, with that shit. Overrated dish. Yeah, I can't fuck with that shit. But no, Columbia was fine. We had a great time. It was, I, it was, it was a lot of fun. I love the adult couples trip. We yeah. all want adult couples. And I want to find a way to master the adult couple's New Year trip. Hmm. So it was 10 of us, and I just, I, I just want to find a way to like lock that in every year, completely mastered what the experience needs to be. Because what was the benefit of having the group? He, he got to bring Nick. Oh, yeah. Old Nicky. <laughs> yeah. Legend. Dove doesn't get, Dove, we get to pick Dove's couple. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's way more fun. <laughs> Shout out to Nick. We love that's Nick. That's a good date, actually. Yeah. That'd, be, that'd be more fun than whoever you're going to bring, honestly. Yeah. Agreed. Yes. I mean, yeah. Yeah. You wanted to go in these. I mean, <laughs> I did expect more out of Columbia. A little overrated. Talk to me about wow. that. Wow. Talk to me about that. I, I feel guilty that. saying because Luis was so great and he's, he's been such an amazing he's ambassador simply for the women. country. Just oh, girls. Oh, oh, the attractive women, you're saying. Yeah. It's, yeah. You see the beautiful Colombians in Miami and you think that they're just yeah, the everywhere reputation, in Columbia. Yeah, the reputation, They've I think. They've been discovered. They're, they're out. Yeah. There. I would agree. Still beautiful girls, but. Not, not what, what's you know. I would, I, I think that Dove is on to something. Yeah, you might be on something. I think Dove's on to something, but also like the, the city, it was really cool. It was really interesting, but like, 
If you're looking for the Spanish colonial experience, like that's what you're trying to see with like an indigenous vibe, so far I haven't seen one that beats Mexico. Mm. So you're going further for a not that much more unique experience that doesn't also beat Mexico. Mexico yeah. will always be top of my list too. But Mexico what, is undi- oh, bro, undeniable. Mexico is the fucking goat, bro. I'm sorry, I'm <laughs> yeah, sorry. It, it hits every level. You were in Mexico. Yeah, I was just in Mexico, it was great. You hit indigenous, you hit Spanish colonial, you hit- The I'm, best food, food possible. Food is fire. Ugh. <laughs> Talk to us. <laughs> Talk to us. We went, we would go to this, this house, like it was like a house that was turned into a restaurant. We went there like two or three times and they, I just got like fried whole fish. They just f- deep fried a snapper, pan fried a snapper. That was the, and it was so fucking good. Maybe the best fish I've ever eaten. Wow. Everybody's so friendly. It was great to get sun. You know, you don't get any sun in New York, this shitty place that we live. And uh, why would you leave your family for such a shitty place? <laughs> I what dude, a, what a selfish dude. Thing to do. <laughs> Whenever you want to go back to Texas, what I'll a let. Selfish Whenever thing. you want to go back to Texas, back to Texas. I never left. Every, I would yeah. never leave my family, dude. <laughs> I'll bring them with me. We'll see. I'll bring them with we'll me. We'll see. We will. <laughs> we will. We will. <laughs> Why don't you bring yours? Where? To here. My mom is not going to survive New York City. You would say that. <laughs> she say that. She moved Mom, across, you can't make it here. She moved across the world. She made it in Texas. Exactly. You don't think she can make it in New no, York? No, physically, she's like, she sprained her fucking wrist, almost broke her hand at my wedding, yeah. walking onto the dance floor. You, you sprained your ankle on a floor. Yeah, That's like, where I get it from. <laughs> That's not the, imagine me in 40 years. I got to protect this woman. That's fair. That's fair. All right, but go on. Go uh, we went to Punta Mita, Mexico. It was amazing. Beautiful trip. Beautiful place. I will say I had, I texted you about this. I had like a real existential crisis because we were staying at like a nice resort. It's the gayest crisis. And I saw like- It like, infuriated me when you texted me I about saw it. like- Oh, does it, is this gayer than uh, your leash breaking? <laughs> He got tired in the water, Alex. <laughs> he was so tired. Hey, hey, he's like, got, oh my God, I gotta swim. Bro, he was <laughs> swimming the whole time and he got hey, so hey, tired. No. Hey, bro, imagine, imagine a black guy making fun of you for swimming, bro. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> imagine. Imagine surfs. how shitty your swimming he story is. all fucking day, bro. <laughs> that you're not even scared. You're like, swimming. Come on. <laughs> my thing was like, why'd you go for the board? Swim in, leave the fucking board. <laughs> I'm in the riptide, I can't swim in. But you can't, you swim to the left and then get out that shit. I don't think I, I put enough pressure on how exhausted I was. <laughs> <laughs> so getting back to the board helps just so you can like, then you can float, float. float on the board. Okay. Exactly, yeah, uh, I was I dead. But then anyway, go on. It's way funnier to call it gay. So you were right. right. Also having a premonition right. about it is some shit your, your girl that would say, crazy. right? That is crazy. The, the premonition shit is fucking say, crazy. Right? Bro. That is, that's the shit your girl would you're say. You're a Taurus, bro. I just had bro. a feeling. Yeah, no, I, you're such a Taurus. I just had a I switched out the leash. It wasn't a feeling. I acted on it. This is a real thing that happened. you caused it. And I went back and I told the dude the thing broke. He wasn't even that. Excited or nothing. Like yeah. the guy that I- Cause he I, knew. Cause he knew. He's like, you deserved it. He's in, he's in touch with the spirits. Right. He's in touch with the right. spirits, bro. That motherfucker was right. He understands what the spirits are trying to he do. He really yeah. was. Okay, go, go, keep going. I'm at this resort. I'm seeing rich people, which is already kind of like- Keep in mind how much my, in. how gay mine was, and then right. put on a- I said, you'll get it. I saw in five days, maybe 10 minorities the entire time. It was so white. Not staff. What's the name of this guests. place? What is it called? It was uh, the St. Regis. Oh, Punta right. Mita. You sounds, should book it. You'll awesome. love it. Yeah, it's my favorite place. But I was like, yo, if I have kids, if we make as much money as I want to make, they're going to be surrounded by white people all the time. It was already hard for me. I barely know anything about being Indian. And I wasn't, like, I grew up with a bunch of Indians outside of school. Mm-hmm. My kids aren't going to have that as much. How do you not make them super just lost? <laughs> <laughs> you ask me. Because <laughs> you're the only person who would get it. You yeah, know what I mean? no, yes. I get being the only black guy so, in a and, lot of fucking spaces. And yeah. rich people are fucking weird, dude. I saw one, people were bringing their nannies on the trip, Can whatever. Can just address this one thing that yeah, you said, yeah, yeah. though? Can we talk about that? Yeah. Uh, maybe you don't go to Mexico, maybe you go back to hang out with your family. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Fucking you know, sell out. You know your family's you Indian. Fucking yeah. sell out. Your family's yeah. all Indian. You can Indian, go hang actually. out with your family, you sell out. <laughs> yeah, I, I need to go to the same region. Oh, I feel so out of place here. <laughs> I'm too rich. Hey, do you, <laughs> do you feel, I wonder where home is. How about home? Do you feel less guilty I'm about ignoring too your family? I'm rich right now. What am I going to do? How can I relate to these poor Indians? <laughs> I'm too rich. And literally, you're texting me, and I'm like, I can't believe I'm reading this. Do you feel like, less guilty about ignoring your, about fa- being your parents? Too rich. I might have too much money that all these other Indians that are doctors and engineers won't be able to do things with me. Son, where were they? Come with stay. With their families. Let's go. Out. No, son. Yes. Indians ain't spending New Year's like that. 
Christmas, cool. We're coming after Christmas. <laughs> Come be there. No black people. It got to the point when when you saw other minorities, you would be like, hey, hey. You would like talking to each other. Nobody else talking. That's the All of us are like, oh, hey, hey, how are you? Yeah, that's Son, we went man. to the whitest black resort. Man I didn't know. I just booked a nice resort. Regis? Nah, There's only always. one Regis. Because if you <laughs> think of the Regis that you know, it was the Regis. Regis. I think it was just the time that he went. When you travel uh, New Year's at a destination location, it's going to be priced even more. So you kind of get people priced out. But I went to St. Regis in Puerto Rico, and it was pretty mixed. I need to go there. Yeah. Listen, it's a very easy way to figure this out. Does Southwest go there? <laughs> it's a very simple. Like, do you want to be around Does more Southwest minorities? Go anywhere? Do you want to be around more minorities? If Southwest goes there, you will see plenty more minorities. Yeah, go to simple as that. White people simple maximize that. their Bonvoy points. <laughs> St. Regis is a Bonvoy park. Oh there yeah, that's they gonna do it. There. Yeah, they book up way nah, in advance. These were yeah. wealthy yeah. people. Go to India. They book way in advance. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Go to India. You were crying about being too rich. That's what it seemed like in the text, and I was like, I can't believe that this. Like, I'm having an existential crisis, and it's like, go to India. No, you don't got to no. go to Mexico. I'm not around Indians. Go, there's a country where yeah. there's a lot of Indians. I feel most. I feel Indian most of the time. Not when I'm around you guys, but most of the time I feel Indian. I just don't want my kids to grow up. Like I think the reason LeBron is so like openly, mi like not militant, but like pro-black loudly. I do think part of it is you grow up. You're sending your kids to the same school as the fucking Kardashians. You're looking at your kids like, how are they gonna know anything about who they are? This is just the widest world I've put. But you don't have to live in Bel Air or Beverly no, Hills. No. You can live in an Indian community. Yeah, the question I, you have to decide is, do you want the fancy white people shit more than you want the Indian cultural shit? Yeah, I think you, you have to choose. Well, you can live in Edison, New Jersey or wherever that shit is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you can, but yeah. if you make the decision you don't want that. Oh, that Indian. That's just, <laughs> that, that Edison, Edison alone. Well, come on. Okay, look, so that's the, that's the existential crisis. It's not, am I going to make too much money? Because with money, you have the choice to be as Indian as you want. It, the, the existential crisis is, do I want to live that Indian shit or do I want to live this fancy shit? Yes. That's the existential yes. crisis. That I that I I would have much more uh, has. That's what I was trying to that's, say. That's Way more. what you were saying. Okay. <laughs> like, I oh, is that what you got from it? Yes. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I, I didn't get it. I didn't get it. But that, he's that, like, it sucks because like, yes, he's successful and he wants to be in these places, but it sucks that the downside of being in these places is like I see less and less of my people and that see, shit that to shit me sucks. that's way more vulnerable to me yeah. that's the vulnerability is that's the what I was trying to say exactly yeah. is the admission of I want to do this fancy I shit I want to do this fancy yeah. shit I want to live that life it happens to be white people and, shit and it's not even white like regular white like rich white wealthy white I feel you, uncomfortable they, around them motherfuckers. Son, yeah, I, this is the crazy, white, bro. This is the craziest thing. People are bringing their nannies on this trip. I'm not going to judge that. Fine. But blew my mind. Two days in a row, you see these people at breakfast, the same families. I saw a family that was all eating breakfast, and then their nanny was sitting away from the table, back against the wall, not eating, just like getting the food and shit for the kids, and then come sit in her chair. And it's like, yo, I think she might have had food at one point, but like eating it over a chair. with no, It's like, yo, let her sit with you. This so is that's a, that's a really... That is a really interesting. Uh, that's a really interesting situation that I've seen some people deal with. That is incredibly difficult. And I was talking to my wife about like what is the best way to handle it. The best way that we would handle it is you just make that person part of your family, yeah, and they're I part of all these things, right? Some of these people that have a lot of money, they have a lot of staff working for their home, and one way of dealing with that is while also trying to like have some semblance of privacy. It's almost like the New York effect. You know how like New Yorkers, when we walk down the street, we just kind of pretend nobody else is there. We have our conversations at a level of volume wherever the people can hear. And we're just like, everybody's just kind of gonna ignore. And what they do is in order to have like this home life, they ignore the staff. And when you view it as an outsider, especially for the first time, you're like, this is like inhuman. Yeah. And I, and I tried to like be understanding of it when I saw some people do it. And I, my perception is it's the only way that they can have like a private family moment while still having the comforts of the staff. I know it's, I, I'm, not, I'm not trying to cap for them. Yeah, please, yeah, yeah. please understand it. I'm just trying to, I'm trying to justify why they ignore another human being that's in their presence. Yeah. And I assume it's because they're trying to create normalcy in yeah. their home. I said I was gonna try not to judge, now I'm gonna judge a bit. What was throwing me is like, I would see her like putting cream cheese on the bagel for the kids or whatever. Yeah. And it's like, yo, you could just, if you want privacy, 
you don't need your nanny there to get the kids bagels at the buffet and breakfast. You could do that much as a mom. You could go, or dad, go get the food, bring it back. Like, you don't need to sit her there weirdly facing out and not talking to anybody. Mm-hmm. It was just an odd, and that was the most blatant thing, but it was, I felt like there was a lot of, and maybe I, my, you know, my wife is watching White, White Lotus and I watched a couple episodes and that's in my head. Bro, that shit But I'm like, yo, what trip. is this fucking world where I see nannies loving their kids more than the mom or somebody sitting like just, sta- it just felt odd to me, but it's fire. It's comfortable. It's nice. The staff is yeah. so nice. You want to be there. You want to make all this money to live that life. Yep. And then when you live that life, and you think about your kids. Am I depriving my kids of any kind of normalcy, any kind of roots, any kind of identity? It was a fucking like, dude, I want that. But at what cost? You think you want it. Until you have it, then you're like, oh, my kids don't fucking know me. And That's the thing. You think you want it. And then what's the cost of what this thing I think that sounds so great? Yeah. My bad if I didn't interpret it that way. But I th- maybe it was in our text exchange because it was so quick and we were both on vacation. Yeah. But- uh, I, I, the way it was worded was like, oh, I'm making too much money, man. Like, <laughs> no. My kids don't have a choice. No, no, <laughs> like, no. It and sucks for them. And if I, I make as much money as I want to make, I'm probably going to, why would I not? It's human nature to be like, well, let's be comfortable. No, nah, you got it. You got it. You got to deprive yourself. You, you got to deprive say all that shit to me. I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't going to go into our text. But, uh, <laughs> probably no. not. But you have to make but the I'm conscious. in the middle of like trying to figure out what the fuck I'm feeling too. I think you have to make the conscious decision to deprive yourself of that. To go, it's not worth getting all the things because it's not healthy for one, my life, but also my kids like um alex and we spoke about it already we did i started or unless that part got cut out maybe yeah. it did <laughs> Wait, what did he home, say spent a lot of time with family yeah. new year's with his mom i started right first oh yeah yeah there's little grapes and shit <laughs> you need your grapes yeah, yeah a little fruit we yeah. do this is what week. started the whole hour yeah. argument between us yes yeah oh that's right that's yeah. right yeah. well in case we cut that uh alex ate grapes for new year's with his mother yeah i spent time with yeah my yeah, <laughs> Miles. You should try it one time. I uh, went to Florida, had a really good time. Uh, hung with family, but also sort of like Schultz. We don't really do big things for the holidays, so it was just very relaxed and comfortable. But you were still with family. Keyword. Yeah, yeah, but they wouldn't have cared if I didn't come home. Thank That's, you, bro. Yeah. Wow. Yo, white people are so evolved, man. <laughs> We're so evolved. Family's a construct, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, these like, minorities get so excited about a holiday. <laughs> Isn't it crazy? Like they go crazy for a holiday. Yeah, yeah we didn't exchange gifts this year for the first time ever. Wow. Yeah. Damn. That's crazy. Yeah, it was sort of interesting. We Whoa. just drank who coffee. Made, who made that decision? Uh, me, sorta. Oh, so your parents wanted to get you something, and you were like, no. Nah. No, they just were like, we don't know, what we would get you this year, and I was like, I don't know what to get you guys, and they're like. Well, let's not do it. We don't really have to. There's no reason. We all have what we need. And we just sat and drank coffee for like, talked for four hours on Christmas morning by the pool. It was way better. That's actually so sweet. And that's the real gift, right? That's so sweet. Yeah. Time with family. Time with family, bro. Okay, where's Dove? Because I'm sure something happened to him on this vacation. (laughs) Wasn't he with you? Mark almost died. He was, but I forgot most of the things that happened. (laughs) Sure, he wasn't with you the whole time. I mean, it was a lot. (laughs) Dove, Dove, what happened on the vacation? Yeah. Show what? said you had a lot of Tusi. Yeah. No. I didn't were, were you risen? Were, were you rizzed up or what? No, just all the molly. <laughs> oh. <laughs> all of it. All of it? <laughs> but did we uh, fight about anything before that? Did anything happen before that? Oh, we usually get in a good fight every trip. Yeah, it was just, really good. I'm trying to think. Was there anything? No, because you were fucking sick. Annoying. I know. I was so It was bad. <laughs> it was really No, fucking we had bad. a great time. You, you wakeboarded. It's on the islands. Oh, yeah, that was Why pretty. are you talking like that? My voice fucked up? Oh, no. It was just looked like you had something in your mouth. Oh, sorry about that. I'm back. Wait, you got Molly mouth? His jaw, uh, his jaw, yeah, his jaw's still going <laughs> yeah, yeah. crazy. I came back 10.30 a.m. the next day when he was coming back trying to put a piece of bread from a bakery in his mouth. And I was like, give me a bite of that. Oh, yeah. Bed. Dove got back the next day with, uh, he was wearing this black button-down shirt the oh, night before. I know that shirt. He, no, sure. he looked phenomenal in it. It was he had it buttoned down to here. He had a necklace with an iguana on it. He was like just going. Um, also, the theme, <laughs> the theme of the party, so the theme of the party was savage, right? Okay. And Dove is like, yo, you should wear one of those Native American headdresses. And I was like, yeah, maybe not for the savage <laughs> themed party, Dove. Maybe that's not a great no idea. Yeah. So, so we go. Uh, so Dove wears the iguana. He's got this black button-down shirt. The black pants. He looked phenomenal. He looked great. He's tan. Incredible. The next day he comes back. I see him in the morning. It's ten thirty. He finally gets back, 
and he's got the 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 the, the like fuzz from the inside of the shirt lining under <laughs> each of his titties, right? <laughs> That's happened before. I've been there. Your belly bone is full. <laughs> the yeah. lint. He's got black lint, like two smiles under each one of his titties <laughs> that is just sweated off the shirt yeah. and then like coagulated under his yeah. tits and then just been locked there Crust, under his You gotta like dude, peel them I off. don't notice it until I start arguing with him. I was like, do you do a lot of drugs? And he just goes, he goes, I'm not talking about this right now. And he lifted his arms <laughs> and then these two black girls. That was titty smegma. That'll happen. Titty smegma. That'll happen. That'll happen. Oh. That's funny. But yeah, we gotta we gotta master the uh, the adult New Year's retreat, man. How do we master it, Duff? <laughs> Do New Year's on Molly, and trust me. Ugh, I wish I was at the party. The party looked really good. Yeah? Yeah. It looked really fucking good. Blondish? You got it back at no. 10? 10.30. 30. God 10 30. damn. Yeah, that's wild. One, one, drink, one drink, no sex? Yeah. <laughs> one drink, no sex? <laughs> Sometimes it's one drink, no sex. Sweet boy. <laughs> we admitted to drug use, but still sweet boy. Yeah. I ain't got no pussy, bro. Come on. New year, new me. What does that mean? Not dating this year. You're not dating? No. I want to be arranged marriage. Oh, we can do that. Oh. We got that, bro. Yeah. Can we, we bet that. online for this one? <laughs> <laughs> we need to do that. <laughs> Give them two weeks. <laughs> okay. Um, any other stories from New Year's? I'm trying to think. Any other stories from, from your vacations? Anything else? Anything else happened? Anything funny happened in Mexico? No, nah, bro. Great time. Relaxed. Had fun. You guys? Altercations? No. Oh, okay. Weirdly fight free. Mm. Really? Usually vacation is good for one fight. Nothing silly that. Did you guys do adventure stuff? That was the trick I realized. If you don't want to fight, do adventure stuff, and everyone's too tired to fight. Mm. It's like it's like you're a dog. You just kind of like walk each other. And then everyone's too tired, and then there's just you nothing just to argue about. Just get out of your system. Yeah. Second time you trying to call women bitches yeah. today. <laughs> like, you can't do it. dangerous. Man. I didn't yeah. say bitches. I said animals. Dangerous you said, animals. Animals. You said, you said actual dogs. dogs. Yeah, that's yeah. way better than a bitch. Come on. <laughs> Dude, I'm not an animal like you guys. It's a, it's a dangerous game that you're playing. <laughs> but no, you just go. You, like, go like, ski, go for a run. Just walk your girl around. But I'm also walking me. We're oh, both, dude. We're both dogs. I have a story. Um... Columbia taught me that it's possible to say things that are incredibly racist without it being racist. And Continue. like the there are these guys that rap on the street. Okay. They come up to you and they just start rapping and they hope that they tip you. They have like a little boom box that they're carrying with you and they're rapping in Spanish, but like they'll also just like when they see you, they say stuff. Mm -hmm. And they have a few generic things for like whatever race you are. But like when they just say it to like a black person, it's kind of wild. And uh hey, we sell this to the L. And uh, it's like so Jamil's yeah. with us, so it's like Morocco. But they, they they got speakers and shit, and they you know what I mean? Like it's <laughs> amplification, bro. This is so we just walking down the street after our last meal. And they call, and they call to Jamil. <laughs> <laughs> they call to Jamil, and they just start going. This is what they're saying that we all think. They just get, they just go. And they, they got in front of them. The music starts pumping. Boom. Boom, boom, whatever, like that. And then the guys are starting to go, black boy, black boy, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Black boy, black boy, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Right? And then they just turn to Nick and he's got glasses on. Harry Potter, black boy, black boy, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Turn to Dove, Shah Rukh Khan. Black boy, black boy. What's your, and dude, it was fucking, they started doing this Bob Marley shit because, you know, Jamil has the dreads uh, yeah, or whatever like that. Oh my God. And it's, you're just being racist to somebody, yeah. but you know that they don't even know better. Yeah. So it was kind of just like silly and funny. <laughs> and Jamil's coming down on Molly. He doesn't have the energy to engage. So he's just kind of like locked into this performance. <laughs> we're like looking for money to pay them to stop. Oh my God. But the dude. black boy, black boy. That's a banger, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly. Wow. Hardy Potter. <laughs> Did they get you? No, they didn't get me. Damn. I don't have a look, I guess. <laughs> but like, yeah, if you're a white guy with glasses, Harry Potter, if you're Indian, I guess they thought that he was yeah, Indian. Yeah, dude, Shadow Shadow Khan Khan is huge. He's the so, Hollywood yeah, guy, he's right? He's the guy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'd be thrilled. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, it was fucking funny. Uh, that's fun. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I think we're done. Yeah. 
But, I think we're done. But what do you think about it? My, my last observation on, and I think that this is just a function of like everybody going to Cartagena for New Year. So there's just so many. It's like there's a few moments or a few days for people to get as much money as they possibly can on the street by like mm. selling you goods and like following you around. And um, it like puts you in like these weird like moral situations where you have like a child will come up to you and like go like this. Like I'm sure you yeah, experienced yeah, that yeah. in India. And it's yeah. like fucking heartbreaking yeah. to like ignore them. Yeah. I got hustled. Yeah, because you're a fucking good person. You didn't get hustled. You did the right thing. <laughs> so this girl's like, you know, they ask for money, but you don't know if it's going back to them or whatever. So I'm like, yo, I'll go to the store. I'll buy you buy you what you want, but take me to the store, oh, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she goes to the store. She buys like cooking oil and it's like, I don't know, 150 rupees or whatever. I buy it and I'm like so like heartbroken. Like, dude, this is all this girl wants is cooking oil so her family can cook and eat. And I'm telling a guy from India, he's like, no, 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 no. She knows it's the most expensive thing in the store. As soon as you left, she went back, got a refund, got the cash, you idiot. Hilarious. And I was like, Hilarious. oh, Jesus, I'm in fucking tears about this story. Yep. Oh, wow. yep. Cooking oil is a good one, though. Yeah. yeah. That's dude, a great one. Dude, it's brilliant. Because oh, you hear cooking oil, you're like, yeah, what are you going to do with cooking oil? Yeah, how could you possibly? Yeah. It's more, Get me. It's more sad than food. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's, yeah not, it's for the family. Yeah. 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 Oh, God, brilliant. I was in tears. Legitimately, I was about to cry. But oh, then somebody's funny. like, no, you're a retard, man. Yeah. <laughs> so this is the tricky thing, right? Like, you, let's say you're making a decision. How do we make this place hospitable for tourists? Mm-hmm. This is a fucked up game, which in the long run helps all the citizens, mm-hmm. but in the short term can potentially hurt some of these people. Mm-hmm. Every one of them in the long run will make will be better off. Mm-hmm. If you can really build the tourist industry, they'll all eventually have jobs or have jobs that are based on jobs in the tourist industry. It doesn't matter what it is. Even if it's like cleaning up you know, the streets, Well, there's more garbage because there's more people coming, blah, blah, blah. So it's one of those things like when you're walking down the street, I'm sure it's more around this time of year, but like every second somebody's asking for something, trying to sell you something. Like, did did they? Yeah. I mean, it was, I've been in places where you feel, like in Morocco, I thought there was a good balance where it's like they asked you when you're souk, but they're not following you. You don't have to say no six times. Like, you almost have to be stern. Yeah. They'll just fucking follow you. you. And, And even if you're stern, they'll still keep asking. And they'll still keep going. And it's just like, it was one of those things where it's like, if you're in charge or in government, whatever, you have to find a way to, to explain to these people, or you do it with the police, where it's like, the more we harass tourists, the less they're gonna recommend this as a place to go to. Because there's, there's only so many times a child can walk up to you and say they're hungry before you're fucking, you're like, I, I, I can't put myself in that situation. Like, I, I, that hurts me. Yeah. So, but, so you almost need the government to be like, Guys, by doing this, less people are gonna come here, which means less opportunities for you to make money off them. Mm-hmm. Like if you're just sitting down having a meal outside and every two seconds there's a new person coming to fucking sell you something, I'm never going to that restaurant again. So how do you as a government communicate it to the most desperate people in society that they have to stop doing the thing that is keeping them alive in order to, in the long run, make more money and benefit everybody in the city? Yeah. That's fucking hard. I don't want to be the person to tell somebody that. No. Yeah, I don't think you could. Yeah, I don't think you can. It's one of the reasons. Because they're also like, my survival depends on this, so fuck you. But fuck you. It's it's one of those things where you're just like, like politicians in America, we give politicians in America so much shit, and we should because it's fucking easy. Your job is easy here, (laughs) dude. It is fucking easy. Easy. Right. Politicians in a third world country, you got to worry about being nice enough so America don't fucking prop up another person. Explaining shit to the police in a way where they don't revolt. And also, the police are now telling the poorest people in society that they can't do things that are going to feed themselves. So now that's going to weigh emotionally on those. Like, I don't wish that job on anybody. Yeah. Third world politician? Fuck me, bro. Nah. Like, but at the same time, you also... You gotta not be corrupted. And, how, and yeah. then, that's the other thing. It's like, how can you not be corrupted when literally the basis of the job is corruption? Yeah. You're gonna have these countries that are paying you money for special interests. Mm-hmm. What are you gonna do? Take that money and then it just go, well, this goes into the government bin. Then the people in government are like, well, how did that money get there? Yeah. Or, yeah. Like, or you don't take the bribe and just get killed. And then you get fucking killed. It's yeah. like the, the job is already has so much corruption built in. The idea of you being a little more corrupt is probably almost, it's not even seductive. It's like normal. Yeah, that's yeah. what you do. Yeah. So how do you do that? How do you explain to those people? Because that, that to me would be a hard thing to recommend. And I loved my time in Cartagena, but it would be hard based on that to go, we need to go back there and experience that. Whereas Morocco, I would tell people to go to Morocco all the time. Yeah. You, you're going to be... 
You're gonna be asked for shit, but not. It's a part of the chased. experience. You just have to compartmentalize. Sadly, you gotta subsidize yeah. that or something. You gotta you like have pay to for these people to mentally not be compartmentalize. Dude, I saw a kid, another kid in Mumbai that was just like on the street, just so many flies around him, and like we just went and gave the, it was me and my homie Arjun Gupta shouts, yep. but like he gave him water and like talked to him and like. I was so shook up. I was like, fuck. And then, you know, whatever. We fed him. We got him some food somewhere. But it's like, it took something that extreme. I legitimately thought this kid might be dead and everybody's just walking by him. Because so that's that, you kind of got to compartmentalize and be like, yeah, I'll help where I can. Yeah, you got to so, compartmentalize. Because but, I think they also see you as a mark. Because like- 100%. <laughs> so it's like, well, yeah. now everybody's coming to the you. Because so I didn't feel it that much. Like, yeah, we were getting yeah. people come up. To, but if you just like kind of ignore it, then- But the only thing more offense, like uh, like- the more fen- more offensive than like being seen as a mark is being seen as like one of them. Right? Right? They thought you were poor like them. No, no. They thought you fit in. <laughs> They're like, did you run out of maracas? You need some more? Do you know- <laughs> we were getting approached. <laughs> <laughs> what you gonna do? What you what gonna do right? when they come for but you? How do you? How do you? Yeah, you gotta compartmentalize it. But how do you, as a government? I guess you're right. You gotta subsidize the poorest groups of people so that they're not out in the street begging like that. And then you have to police. Yeah, the ones that are fake. Yeah. Like you'll see this in Europe where like women like will have their gypsies. Yeah. Like and they'll like paint or like put like uh like sores on their kids. Oh yeah. And then or they'll like give them Benadryl and it's like make them sleep. Tired, yeah. And then like they're just holding their kid and their kid looks like it's like festering with wounds. And then you're like just pouring money on them, then they jump in a Mercedes and go down. Yeah. And it's like, okay. So it's like you have people like that that are preying on the goodwill of yep. other people and making their situation seem more dire to get more money. Yep. So you have to somehow penalize that while at the same time subsidizing the people that actually need the help. Yeah. And yeah. it's like how, how, how do you know someone's kid isn't hungry? I'm yeah. going to give you a ticket for pretending your kid was hungry. Yeah. The kid can't even speak. Yeah. Like I guess he's saying if you subsidize for the poorest people, then anybody begging is like, no, we subsidize. Yeah, so, there's a food right. bank right here but going around the corner. How do you get the money to subsidize too with the fucking geopolitics? You gotta borrow it from the IMF and then they take yeah. all your fucking coconuts and your yeah. poor forever. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But it is, it is a thing that like, if you're trying to develop an area of your country into a tourist industry, it has to be, uh, uh, it has to be amenable to tourists. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It, it like, it, it has to be warm, welcoming, and they cannot experience that level of discomfort. The problem is, once people know there's tourists there, they come in with trinkets. Yeah. And the trinkets is cool. Sell some trinkets. <sighs> but it's he don't. hates saying no, I think. That shit I, bothered me in Venice, too. Yeah. Like, I'm in Venice, and I'm looking at this, like, beautiful ancient sea, and then I'm seeing all these fucking little, like, kiosks and shit. But I'm like, that's how it's it— I'm almost like, that's how it always was, though. You go to Venice fucking 400 years ago, this guy's shucking oysters, like— Yeah, but the oysters are from Venice. Like, at least what I loved about Morocco is those things that they were selling in the souk, maybe they were made in some fucking place in China and then brought over. Mm-hmm. Maybe they weren't. They looked like they were made there. Mm-hmm. At least make it look like it's from there. Mm-hmm. The pink I Love Venice shirt— uh, is see. made in China. I see. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just saying it takes the away- The thing where you pull the toy and it flies <laughs> in the air. Like, what are they saying, Venetian? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What the fuck is going on? It went a thousand years yeah, ago. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it's like, it, it, outside of my inconvenience, I'm thinking about how it affects people who want to go there, which ultimately affect the people who live there. And that's what benefits them the most. Right. I feel like it's that, it, there's iterations of that everywhere. Because in Morocco, you- they hated how aggressive they were with the monkeys and shit. Yeah, that was too much. Shit. So, but you didn't have, you didn't get hassled for, you know, donations for on the street as much. Right. But it was like, I'd take the beggars in Colombia over the aggressiveness of the motherfuckers in Morocco. I felt like that was uncomfortable. But we were seeking out the monkeys. That's the only difference. Every, when we were walking by, everybody's just like, oh, come in, come in, come in. Yeah, like, you can't even look. Show. You got to be like, you got to put our fucking visors on. Fair enough. Yeah. yeah. I guess everybody experiences their own. But it's just one of those things that, like, you think about with a developing country. Like, I was thinking about, you know, just with Costa Rica. I'm like, wow, how, how could you help foster an environment that would, like, help these local people not only make money so they could survive, but also, like, thrive off the growth of the city? Mm-hmm. It's one of those things, like, in Costa Rica, like, there's— Unwritten rules in terms of businesses that you can't uh, enter. You know, there's a lot of foreign investment coming in, and there's like three things you just can't touch. You can't touch surf lessons if you're not a local. 
Mm. That's theirs. Can't touch ATV rentals. Everybody gets around their ATVs. And then you can't sell drugs. Yeah. And there's no rule book that says it anywhere. The, pe the people have a strong enough culture. They self-police. Mm. Yeah. And you have to figure out a way that tourism actually goes to the people that live there and not to just like these foreign companies That's that invest in a hotel and then it goes back to fucking New York. Yeah. yeah. Like yeah. I, I want, I, you know, if you have these big hotels that are coming in, that's awesome. Do, uh, is there a way to like partner with locals there? And unfortunately, like the locals that you would want to partner up are very few. They're probably like the the doctors or the dentists or the people that are like the most well off and intellectuals of that area that you could you know do business with. But like, how can you find ways where the locals are profiting off of the growth of their town or city? Yeah, like, they sh directly. Cuba was like that. Cuba, um, you can't um, you can't have an Airbnb if you don't if you're not from Cuba. Yeah, like and. and it was a thriving business because, like, the hotels aren't that great there, so everybody rents Airbnbs. 100%. But it was like, so then they find ways of, oh, uh, let me pay this person. <laughs> and it's like, so the person is making money, but it's still the money ends up going back to some. It, it goes up, but at least they're getting you know. something. Yeah, like, yeah. I, yeah, I but, just— it, like even when you have a rule like that, it's still people find ways to go around it. Because yeah. it's 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 so easy once you have a lot of money to yeah. like you can buy up all this land for pennies on the dollar, and you can. Build it out, and it's great. It really does help the community, and those people get jobs, you know? But how do you find a way where they're not then displaced, where they're continually profiting off of that investment in that region? Yeah. Because you're not going to that region unless they already built out, even if it's the shittiest roads. Yeah. You're going there because they're there. Yeah. You could go to the middle of the fucking jungle. You're not going to the middle jungle for a reason. Yeah. Because there's not, even that tiny little infrastructure that exists— that's what you're leeching on. Yeah. Maybe leeching is the wrong word, but they should be able to eat off of that. But then it gets tricky when people buy up the land personally, and then you can't even live in the place you're trying to work at. Yeah. So you got to ship in workers from like the other town and put them in fucking tenements just to like yeah. make the place work. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. It's tricky. And, but those people's lives are so much better. Yeah. Like the people who live in those towns are making so much more money. They're able to send their kids to fucking better yeah. schools. Like all these things also improve. And a percentage of them are changed forever. They mm -hmm. went from like poverty to actual like, let's say middle class or something, upper middle class. So part of the town is like, this is great. Yeah. yeah. Don't yeah. stop this investment. Keep it fucking going. While the other part of the town is being moved out. They're like, yo, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah. So it creates the infighting. It's, it's hard. It's tricky, man. Yeah. It's, it, it's better if you just fucking move them out. Yeah. <laughs> go to Wyoming. Go to Wyoming. That's honestly a lot of white people in Wyoming. You know? You think? Yeah, yeah. They already moved everyone out already. <laughs> yeah. So it's just kind of very white <laughs> cowboy stuff. Yeah. Do that next time. Yeah. yeah. No, Idaho. I think that'd be really cool. Yeah. yeah. You know, that nature stuff, man. Yeah. Also, this, everything FDA. Nature's back, dude. Dude, nature is back. Yeah. Guys, it's been a long episode. <laughs> flagrant. We love you. We appreciate you. We will see you next week. We gave you one long one this week. We'll see you next week. Okay, we got some fun ones next week. Thank you very much. Happy New Year. Peace.